Ladies and gentlemen, I have RSG1 Valkyrie Skies here. One of the many individuals that I believe has organized this event. Global Clash, how you doing Valkyrie Skies? Hey, Arshi, it's a pleasure to be here with you. Of course, buddy. This is legendary, bro. In less than 3 minutes and 13 seconds, we're about to see something really weird happen. I'm asking to see if I can see a single harasser be inside of that circle and live. And we're going to give you a code. This is going to be intense. All these players are right now on probably on the outside waiting to rush inside. And then there's going to be an insane battle. I don't know how many harassers are hiding on the outside here. But more and more of these players are just going to basically slowly creep up. Or there's going to well, be a free like easy a win. There's a few contenders sticking it out in the middle there. And of course, we have the staple of Cobalt Galaxy Chan in their galaxy as always, of course. Uh, this is going to be a tough one. We're going to see underneath the water here. I'm wondering, are they waiting for the moment to see who is the likely winner to just come up and flip them from below? Oh my god, this is going to be insane. Galaxy Chan is under there. EP Don is also under there. Ooh, oh Dan. my god. Always a uh, staple site of Cobalt and his Colossus. <laughs> exactly. But right now he's flying a galaxy instead. I love the sound effect change right now. Just check out. Yeah, they've done a lot to do with the war. It's, uh, it's quite a lot of fun. And I, in the upcoming Logi Smash event, I'm hoping we'll see a lot of Sunder Flotilla battles. Oh, that's going to be tough. 100%. All right now, Logan has taken the W. Congratulations to you, Logan. Ah. Stinky Fox. Let's get Logan. His key. Logan Funder. Congratulations to you. Oh, different Logan. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. It is Logan Funder, right? Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and give Logan Funder another uh, ticket right here. Logan Funder. No, of course, man. Congratulations to you. I'm proud of you guys basically for making it happen right now we're about to see one minute and 20 seconds and i will continue saying it live on stream there's going to be a five second delay for your reaction time in the game if you want to know what that means i'm going to go and show you right now as i'm saying it out loud i'm going to be typing it out loud one minute remaining it's going to happen in three two one i'm typing it right now in the yell chat one minute remaining right now, and you're going to get a chance to see exactly what that looks like. It's about a five-second delay, so don't follow the stream. You better go there early. I recommend it, because I will react based on my timing on my watch. And I know that you guys don't exactly have a timer here. 45 seconds remaining. White Brother is sticking in there hard. He might just pull it off if no one blows him up. Uh, well, their own teammates have to blow him up. It's going to be one or the other. It looks like XPH is going to be taking that W. Bro, zero degrees now basically looking at it. Honey Berry is actually looking at it. Less than 28 seconds remaining. Oh, here comes the horde. Wait, you see the horde? And it looks like more and more players. Ice block from RBRN is coming through. Mitika is coming in. 18 seconds, 17 seconds remaining. That means anybody who stays inside of the circle is going to be the W here. Honey Berry. just missed him. Oh my god. Who's going to get this ninth anniversary bundle here? More and more players are working together. There's like four players for the VS are going to stay inside here. One, zero. Now it's going to be at zero mark right now. We're going to see more and more players. It has not basically been completely zeroed out right now. We're going to watch the circle and find out who is the last harasser to survive. Who's going to get take this W right now? And it's going to be between these amazing players. Anybody can come in right now and just continue that number. They're just shutting down whoever they want to win here. Well, I think we almost have a winner. We don't have a winner yet. It's going to be one. It's between their friends here. One of them have to survive and pick. And the pick and Come choose. On, gents. Don't be afraid of a little friendly fire. I know. Lin Ken is right there. We've got the harasser in the backside. Is he shooting? Oh, he's out of the match. White brother. Mako. They're just going to kill anybody coming in. They have to kill each other. They would have had this opportunity to get this W if one of them left. These harassers are now seeing each other. They're shutting each other down. It's between these three players. Anybody else still can come in and still take this W from them. Remember, guys, it is a tiebreaker until one of them survive left. See? It looks like right. Oh, my God. They're still coming in. This is out of control. They're just coming at the very end right now. It looks like more, more players are basically coming in. Lincoln is going to go down. What the hell is happening? I just want to see one harasser inside of the circle. And a little more of these players are right now seeing it. We're going to get a chance to see. We're going to zoom in on those harassers. And we can find out who decides to survive here. 
and we're paying attention to these harassers. When there's only one left, that's going to be the official W. It is a tiebreaker. Right now, 10 minutes is up. Anybody's game, anybody's win. You can come and bring a million harassers, guys, and you can sit there all day if you want. But I only want to see one harasser survive, and that's it. It's going to be between everybody here shooting each other down, shutting each other down. It looks like there's three harassers remaining. There's a flash over there. Interesting to see a flash in the, in the, in the, in the middle of this mix here. Well, to all the troublemakers of the land, I'd ask that you come on in an aircraft and like, and let's try and thin these numbers uh, out. Seriously, this is insane. There's four harassers now. That was three again. I don't understand what I'm watching here. I just don't understand. Can okay, we see an opportunity to see you guys just instantly give these things? Or are you guys going to continue watching new harassers show up? Unbelievable. Another harasser still on there. There's about five harassers here. And, you know uh, what, Arshi? How about we try and even things out here? What's up? Let's, uh, let's just... Did I place that correctly? Wait a second. Are you putting a orbital strike down? What? Are you putting... Uh, I can't do it because it's outside the hexes. No way! Uh, I would be amazed if you could put it down right here. This is going to be a tough well, situation. Well, you're killing me here. Oh my god, I got a W! No, wait, wait, wait. This is between the two of us. Between ice block and... Oh! Wait a second! Oh, he's inside. Oh. God dang it. He's inside. Oh, Unforgiven's inside. Oh. He's inside. It's just a perspective camera. They're all inside. Those three individuals are inside still. And they're just it's, they're battling it out. It looks like no TR forces are here to stay. And it looks like right now VTS. VTS is going to probably take the W. Unforgiven. Matika. It's going to be between these three. More and more harassers are coming in right now. As we speak, as we're talking about it. Oh my god, it's between these two! Shut him down, it's game over! And there's another one there, Lisa Louie is also on the pad here. Is it Lisa Louie? No, it's not, it's also this harasser here. And it's official! Stroke by Magic Gun has taken the W! <laughs> Stroke by Magic Gun has won it! GG! <laughs> Are you kidding me? That, I mean, did you see how much coordination you used? Oh my god, he's dead. Stroke My Magic Gun has taken that W. Let's give him a huge shout out. Stroke My Magic Gun. Well, time to just watch, GG! Right? That is insane. <laughs> I cannot believe I just saw that. It was one before Stroke My Magic Gun. Tower. I did not see that. I mean, in my perspective, He's the only one that survived on that point. Three seconds afterwards, nobody else basically came in time. Unbelievable. GG's. I can't believe we'll he got it's that It's all for fun in the end. Yeah, Who cares? Exactly. It's a little yeah, inaccuracy. Uh, uh, I, I, mean, I couldn't tell really, to be honest. I, that looked like it was just struck <laughs> by Max Gun's the only one left. Good games, man. Uh, but overall, that was just one of many. Is there any other ideas that you have that we can actually display here? Goodness grief. I'm ne I've never been good with the whole planning the mini game thing. Yeah, I'm trying uh, to think, uh, how can we do another one that will make it really fun for everybody that's playing Planetside 2? Another mini game to give everybody an opportunity. Everybody in the chat, give me some ideas, and uh, we'll find out. But uh, while we have the moment of quiet, though, I would like to take the moment to thank everyone who has participated, because as much as 100%. the organizers put work into it, it would be nothing without the participation of everyone else involved. And, uh, yeah, no, special 100%. thank to Rail as well for taking the time to help us out. Mithril for some coordination from the dev team. Yep. And, of course, uh, for myself, a thanks to all the TR commanders who joined us for Operation Falcon. 100%. Can you tell me more about what it looks like to be in the planning process of this and let people know how much work it takes to do what you do so that way I can make sure people appreciate you more? Uh, well, I, I can't take all the effort for myself, of course. It was a four-man operation. We had Chive, we had salamander and we had homie from the vs who's a newcomer but uh yeah sal of course has a history of running these events he's organized all the past ones uh chive is a fellow moderator of mine from the cobalt discord and homie is a volunteer from the vs side who helped us organize the vs angle of the uh to the roster because uh, we had chive contacting all the nc leads homie contacting vs leads and i was in charge of contacting all the tr 100%. And then Sal, of course, did a fantastic job putting together lots of outfit profiles and the likes of the Twitter, the Cobalt Clash Twitter, and kind of just keeping the hype going coming up to the event. I did my best. I, I don't know, maybe I should go into that um, that media side of things. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Salamander. Oh.
Oh, thank you. And again, thank you so much for all the work that you put into organizing this one. I felt like I had to do almost nothing compared to the last ones. I, that, <laughs> that, that, that doesn't happen! What the hell? Thank you so much for the $10 donation. That looks like it came up anyways. I disconnected everything from Twitch and it still comes up. There is no way the streamer mod was supposed to do that. I don't, listen, I can talk to you guys. That was... Can we just have like an edit? Can we just edit that out? Yeah? <laughs> Okay. Don't worry I'm sorry about, about that. Yeah, we're just gonna totally act like we didn't see that. That was. Just gonna keep drinking. <laughs> sorry, that Go ahead. You were talking. A woo. Right. <laughs> no, I was just, I was <laughs> just trying to say thank you to Valkyrie for the uh, for the help this time and Chive as well because they get basically everyone together this time. I just had to fill in just a couple of blanks and get on with the devs and the the Twitter side. Dude, that's freaking awesome, man. And Salamander. Um, I have some people here. Uh, can you tell me more about the individuals call me Chive as well as no name WT, uh, W, I mean FTW, uh, are they also organizers here? Chive is, he was helping out, um, quite a lot throughout the whole thing. I don't know how much the work divided between you and Valkyrie Chive because I was not involved in the first couple of weeks because I completely forgot it was happening. <laughs> um. Yeah, it was a total team effort. It was a total team effort. We kind of sat down. We discussed whether we think it'd be possible and we went out to our respective factions and put in the work there so totally 50 50 and uh and yeah so helped uh with the promo and uh getting the dev support and i do have to so um to get it, getting it done i do have to give oh, props um, to sorry. um chive as he was the one who actually broached the idea of doing this in the first place it's any sense we could pull in Alec? Uh, RC Alec was the force commander yeah, for just, for just NC. So total credit to to Alec for the uh, for what he pulled off from the Fantastic. from the NC perspective. But uh, I'm representing the NC right now with this banner on my chest right now. Congratulations to you guys, the NC, for making this opportunity happen. Alec, how you doing, my dude? Yes, I'm doing fine. Thank you. Dude, tell me more about what it's like to be a Force Commander. If I can summarize what Force Commander is for everybody, this is a single individual that is working with many squads, many platoons. Platoons is 48 thick. It could be less than that, over 12. And then you've got a squad of 12 members. This is literally, he's commanding over 200 plus players, letting them know, based on map awareness, map positioning, how to assist and attack and strategically win that fight. And you saw them basically work their asses off. And Elec is here tonight to help us more learn more about that. Elec. How was it like to basically see the TR dominance in the very beginning? Did you actually feel like you were sweating or you felt really confident going all the way to the very end? Yeah, in the beginning, the, the main focus we had because we didn't know the work case in advance and who would be where. So the general plan was just do not lose the the uh, the sight of split peak. So there was, in this case, a TR work gate and push a little bit on the VS front. But that pushing the VS went a little bit too well. And we saw the TR pushing the VS as well. So then we start, started to think like, okay, mm, TR is going to be an issue. So we started focusing uh, a lot harder on the TR front, but then uh, then that passion came around with its million mozzies, and that gave us quite the challenge. I on the TR side, I was the one who ended up putting our plan together. Didn't really quite coordinate it. Instead, we had 28 squads to work with, which is an overbooking. A continent can only fit 25 squads, but we had it divided where we'd have 11 squads in two battle groups, one on the VS front, one on the NC, to keep an even front so we didn't lose any territory. And then we have six squads in a regular group, which is two squads of dedicated air, and then a platoon of fast response fighters. And that was the crux of our thing. And we essentially had the uh, irregulars try and just flip as many points in the center of the map as possible and be a nuisance, while the battle groups kept the two fronts stable. Yeah, I was uh, leading one of the ba battle groups in the VS front. And we got, we got the instructions to just push the VS as hard as possible. And so the alert started, and we noticed that there weren't that many VS, so we pushed the VS as hard as possible. And then we got a little bit past Ignum, and then we looked down and we realized, hang on, where are the, the NC front battle groups? Do they even exist? Um, and they'd all been suckered into one fight, I think, because I think because of that problem of not enough space on the continent, some of them haven't made it through the queue in time. And oh. so the NC front battle groups were just not there, and we had to scramble down to face the NC suddenly. Wow. Yeah, like, of all the factions, Tior was hard, uh, overbooked. Like, again, as I said, we can fit 25 squads a continent. We had 29 squads worth of signups versus yeah. T VS and NC, where it was about 22 apiece. It was, yeah, it was had, really uh, interesting. It was 40 people signed up. 
Yeah, it was really interesting actually though to see the the pop even out because you're right, like for the first twenty minutes, TR massively over popped. Oh yeah. But then but then eventually it did stabilize to thirty three, thirty three, thirty three. It was insane. Well, the nice thing about doing this on a live server is that even if, in theory, it's not as good to have the players who are just randomly filling in, at least you do have the population. Because people will come along afterwards and go, hell on, this is stream going on at the moment, we can join in this. And then exactly. They do, yeah. And then they fill out the extra space. And as long as we have that kind of that warning for the guys who have signed up to take part, that three, two, one jump, as we try to, then all of them get in, and then... We also fill out anything that's left over with people who are watching the stream or just happen to jump onto the content at the right time to catch this madness, which was incredibly fast paced. And I don't think my heart's going to slow down for about three days. <laughs> yeah, no, I same. Certainly... especially the last 50 minutes on the NC front. Because Bro, at the, I, was I think it was the eighth minute mark. It was 33, 33, yeah, 33. I'm I like, lost okay. my mind. I the literally has finally realized that the TR is also an opponent. Let's smash the TR, let's grab the final percentage, and let's see if we can... Oh, no, no, there. we can't insult the VS's <sighs> effort. Uh, my platoon, we fought the VS for that entire alert. Yeah. Like, it was non-stop. Yeah, no, that is absolutely correct. Is there, is there a VS representative here? Uh, not at the moment. Maybe we can, we can get homie one in. in. We're gonna yeah. go yeah. tag homie. I'll go yeah. tag homie. Yeah, yeah, go, go, tag yeah please do tag homie. He's he seems like a great guy, and he did a lot. He did help a lot with getting the VS together. I love to hear. I love to hear his perspective. Exactly what's going on, because there were moments where I I sat there and I saw how much. Uh, it was like at the last eight minutes, you would see fifty plus players, if not almost a hundred, on one ta uh, one base. They just said, "We're not leaving this. We're gonna reinforce it that heavily." I see a citadel shield on the right side of the continent got the name of it and it was like nc front i'm like oh my god then i look at the tr did the same thing to take a base i'm like how are you gonna counter this this is impossible <laughs> so it's like it was just insane oh. i don't even know what was going on because i noticed that the there was a double team after the eight minutes on the tr because you guys did have the highest population yes of course oh, yeah. yes i really can't blame them the for thing. that either no. it, it's, it's how <laughs> the game works one funny thing about that scale though uh as you're saying like the scale of the number of people before we started, we had a few extra players in Appleton because we were free and a bit squads. And so I took all of our vehicle players and made like a five-man squad of all the vehicle players because, you know, they can pull some tanks and some cheese buses and support us. We get to the first fight, I realized how blooming useless it is to have five players doing our armor support as like three or four squads of tanks start rolling in from each side as we're trying to fight inside this base. <laughs> There's about five colossi coming down each road. It's like, okay, cool. Nice job. Yes, yeah, we did I notice think a oh, lack of Colossi, so we knew they had to be in the TR front, because on the VS there's always a Colossus platoon rolling about. I think we had them on our front for maybe 15 minutes, but for most of the time they must have been on the TR front. I believe we came to Clash versus a Colossus, but it was met by about four of our own Colossi, so I don't think it lasted very long. Oof. Uh, we have uh, Lane Bambus from Jimsy. He's one of the alpha leaders there in uh, the Dragon. But I don't. So he's he would be a vine representative. But I don't know if he's uh, part of the the group or has uh, TOS etc. Yeah. No, no. Nonetheless, yeah, it would be great to get some think, uh, VS perspective. So let's I hear. Think, uh, Lane Bambus, if you're there, if you guys don't mind, I don't have uh, endorsed by Saf on you. I'm going to give it to you right now. Do you guys mind? Do you guys mind if you guys maintain TOS? Means no no racism, derogatory, sexist statements. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Uh, well, uh, I wasn't even like a force commander or something. I just was like a regular squad in the Discover Clash. We had the mission to keep uh, NC forces down. down. Didn't uh, it worked really well for some time, but like the last twenty minutes, they pushed through. Um, I didn't know what's going on at your side because um, leader chat on VS side was really, really calm. Uh, there were like twenty minutes, not one leader talked in there, so cool. I'm not really wondering that we lost this one. Um, I just can talk about NC front. I, I don't know what the guys doing up there at Dickenham, but at the uh, NC side, we had like this really massive player base at Cobalt Kalechikil. It was a really pain in the ass. Uh, whoever built that thing, good job doing there. They instantly rebuilt it. We pulled the Bastion to molder that shit down. But like five minutes later, it was fully built up again. So uh, yeah, we bought off some teeth there. Um, later, uh, Reapers brought in their Bastion as well. They finished us, uh, they had some Colossus down there, so we lost our air dominance there and they pushed up through the line through couple communication, what made us lose those last bases. Uh, I think it was like where we had 33, 33, 33, where both yeah, Bastions was there. Then the NC, Bash, uh, NC Bastion dominated the Wii's Bastion, the Chimsy Bastions. And from there on, we lost our Bastion, we lose this uh, front and this line, and then it's just going down for Vanu and we lose it. Uh, 
that's what's happening down there. I think Ikenem was really the linchpin of the fighting on the TR front as well. We had a lot of massive yeah, sure. armor battles there, massive infantry slogs inside it. Did you manage to catch any footage of the inside of Ikenem for chance, Arshi? Uh, Ikenem I did. Uh, there was a lot of different positions I had to basically check into. I had to open up the map and identify where is the actual fights happening and where <laughs> yeah. are the free base taking. It was a... I think I got a lot of the majority, but it looked like I was sitting probably between six bases maximum that I kept seeing over and over and over again. Battles happening at the same one on the west side, on the north side, to the east side, to the south side. It was like the same four, yeah. five, six bases. And it was like on the uh, on the northern point, it was Biolab, and then they say western point. Oh, and on the south point, you got Macaulay basically constantly getting trickled down, but they just couldn't fully take it. Uh, the ascent was just getting like, you know, nobody wanted to do the ascent. Like, I know why. It's just, it would be, it would be cancer. Yeah. <laughs> the moment you try, you just get ninja. You can take the three points and just leave and hope that they forget. Um, but overall, it was, it was intense. The Western region, it was pretty intense. I saw you guys going to the amp station at the like halfway midpoint. I was like, oh no, oh no, the VS. Oh God. The, the TR just came in, just wiped them. Yeah. It was incredible. Like, I know I sent you a map of where I thought all the most intense flying that event was going to be. Totally wrong. Yeah. Didn't it, go at uh, all no, as I thought it would no. be. <laughs> I, just, I <laughs> thought it was going to be where you said. I was like, where do I go, dude? This is insane. I was like, I'm going to follow this Bastion fleet carrier. We're going to follow the air. Uh, TR air okay, presence was huge, though, I got to say. Uh, oh, that yeah, was... we have really good air. Jesus Christ. Like, yeah, I was, I was like, uh, Sal, I was expecting like big pushes down like the Moss Ravine area, the uh, Scarfield oh, right. Reliquary line. Yeah, uh, we... I was right on the east, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, that's no, about on, it. on the east you were right, but we did go straight in for Ikenem. The the air was actually amazing today for the TR. We had a lot of communication through command chat with them to like, for example, when we dropped on McCullough Tech Plant, we had them clearing the balcony for us, and then my platoon was able to push in afterwards with like 16 seconds left on the timer on it. And it wouldn't have been possible without that Banshee run beforehand, but just getting the Banshee run, then a whole 48 people come running in just afterwards, it's, it's beautiful. It is exactly the poetry planet side should be. <laughs> yeah, and I do have to give props to Dior for being our airboys. That was two whole squad of dedicated airboys, and well, let me tell you, they can fly something fierce. I have Cedric really here can. from Dior that just talked about it. We're here from Cedric. Oh, the topic of Dior. Hello, Cedric. <laughs> <laughs> exactly the greatest timing possible. Cedric, are you there? Yeah. Tell me more about your air squad and uh, clearly what happened at the very end. Was it a two versus one that basically you couldn't do anything with the air? Was air still superior? Uh, we had bases to air to ground, to be honest. I mean, we were holding rock slide. We tried to capture Easter, but the time nah, didn't work out. It didn't work out in your favor? Nah, not, not really. Yeah, that's a tough one. I, I basically saw a situation where I don't know if a population density, max population two versus one, regardless how good you are in the air, can stop it, but I do know that good air presence can prevent spawn options and just really put a damper on any type of forward movement. So it definitely can clear balconies, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, you guys were constantly like a bunch of like man eating dolphins out there. Just like I felt bad for the bros at one point in time because it's just like, it's like, oh god, I do not want to hear that sound effect ever again. But those, was... I don't know, I don't uh... know if you captured the East uh, checkpoint fight, but. And C and TR were flipping the points, I don't know, like the day point six or seven times in total. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I did many kills there, but I, I'm pretty sure I did more team kills. Oh, wow. Because the A point is so small. They're all running, like everybody's in there, a whole TR and whole NC pop was in there. And then you have Benchies pounding in there. And at some point I, I made the call, you guys just bail out, go in there and knife. That's, and then then it flipped around like seven times, and it ended up that we won. But that's good. I mean, it's it's tough to to fully understand what the hell is going on in every single situation. But I wish I could just sit there and say this is the one zone to pay attention to. But the goddamn redeployment side, <laughs> this is so many oh, yeah. times. The what redeployment you, side on freaking planet side is real, guys. You'll what see you it. need is a trio of guys, like, to report a team, one in each command chat, that can go, hey, hey, Arshi, they're moving over here. Hey, Arshi, <laughs> they're going here. Exactly. Just, just it would keep be, an eye out for you. It would be, it would be nice, but at the same oh, look, time, obvious, anybody watching the stream, you just know everything they're doing. <laughs> Everyone's just going to listen to those comps. 
It'd be too good. But if I had a silent... I told her she was going to tell him if there was any exciting battles, he'd just jim jump in on and have a look. But honestly, the fighting was so intense, I never had a moment to just sit and type a message. I, I was about to say, you probably forgot, but yes, that's what happened. Yeah. I fully intended to do the same thing. I hadn't told Arsha I was going to do it, but I did intend to do it too. And then just like, no, not even a minute to look away from the map. Nope. Uh, but that's it. That's what makes Cobalt Clash special. It's like the fights of three or four alerts all rolled into one hour and a half slot. There is nothing more hype than the very start of a clash where you just have 200, 300 people all spawning into, spawning into the warp gate at that exact same moment and just watching them all rush forward from the spawn tubes on it like your screen unable to even render them all yes absolutely it's a great moment that you never see i had to wait fucking two minutes to spawn my valkyrie no way oh, is yeah, that how much the queue was, was? Queue. no way yeah, the vehicle queues were horrible for the first couple of minutes just everyone had to get up in the air and away Tell me, tell me more about um, the current server population. Like, uh, what is, what has it, has it been like? I see updates happening from the, from the tweet, from tweets that are coming from Mithril and they're coming from Rel. Um, there's so many changes that happened to Planet Side. I got a two streaming PC now, so I'm on the fullest resolution graphics that you guys can ever afford. Other than if you want to do a customize and do a 2.0 version and make my computer probably explode, but uh, <laughs> it's incredible. Like, I had no lag. The performance is there. Uh, I, I didn't feel one bit of lag with the highest detail Don't render talk graphics. About the lag again. I didn't see it. For me, I'm, I'm literally a fl yeah. floater observer cam. I didn't have a single moment of lag. Of course, I could be having I, latency issues because I'm I really... do have to say, I've got a decent machine, but there were a few times during that event where my UI just broke entirely. Oh. Like, menus just wouldn't load. My yeah. gun wouldn't change. <laughs> it was hilarious. Did you see the name of the GM that basically said, like, uh, what was it? The name that they chose to use? They yeah, said like we're gonna break so the game. Game or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, don't worry, we're breaking this game. Uh, guys, good luck. Yeah, that was hilarious, man. He knows exactly oh. what happens when this many people come onto one server and just try to bat bat duke it out. It is so. Oh, I remember incredible. one of my PL saying the second we all joined Emrish, like there were incredible legs by. He's like, oh man, the server <laughs> might actually die from us doing this. It's, <laughs> it's fine. We've done it before. <laughs> I know I told him, but it was quite funny. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, but in uh, general. I, I do have to give it to the devs, though, on the topic of content. They've been putting in so much work as of late. Like, Planet Side 2 has had periods of low pop, of inactivity and the like, but with a whole new continent dropping, a whole bunch of new guns, new vehicle weapons, new vehicles, they've been putting in so much work as of late. And then they've also taken the time to support us with an event like this, so they've really been good to us. Yeah, they absolutely have. Also, it's it's events like this and it's things like this which I hope are going to keep people in the community longer as they come along for these new updates because Planet Side 2 at its core is a sandbox. Like, you can turn up and grind out and Orex all your guns, but you can also do stuff like this. You can decide, hey, I want to do this in my game, and it's a sandbox. It will let you do it. You can mess about. Oh, 100%. I wanted to ask a, a couple more questions to you guys here. Um, there's some lore I want to share. But I also want to make sure I give away these codes while we still have everyone basically in their attention. I know that you guys want to get out of here. I did not get a DM from that gentleman who was actually playing that harasser. I remember, I don't remember. I can go back to the VOD and recheck it. If you could do me a favor, whoever you are that won that last standing harasser race, take a screenshot of your character name in a bio menu, send it to me in a DM, and I'll give you a code. That is your code, and I'll basically keep it for 24 hours for you. After that, it's probably given away. So, whoever that you were that got that W if you were watching that stream, if you just showed up randomly with a harasser at that circle and you just said, this is fun, and you just won it, and you didn't know what's going on, honestly, that's kudos to you, man. I can't believe that. But uh, other than that, I tried to pick a random destination though, where no random vehicles would just show up. Um, I want to give uh, a, some love over to Salamander as, uh, as well as Valkyrie Skies for basically keeping contact with me and letting me know about the Cobalt Clash that's coming up. Honestly, thank you guys for thinking about me and making this opportunity happen. Uh, I might not be as proficient with the terminologies that are happening, like skinny fat, all those like balcony doors. I haven't seen Planicide in basically a couple months here. I do basically pay attention to the updates and see what's going on. Last night I tried to play, my internet went out, so I just had my technician come out and just put a cord literally through my front door. My front door is still open. And just to put a coaxial cable just to go directly into my modem. Just because that, 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 mo that cable that I got is making noise. 
and it's causing me to have some peaks in my internet. So that's why I'm able to be here right now and not have my internet just shut down. Shut down. So I gotta go get that fixed as well later on today. But um, let's give away some codes. Let's give away some uh, some more an ninth anniversary bundles for all of you guys. Did you guys get support uh, by any chance by anybody else? Did you guys already get some codes? If not, I'm gonna give you guys personally the staff that way Salamander yourself and um, Valkyrie, you guys will also, I wanna give you some too so you can share it to those who organize it for you. And everybody in this channel that is watching right now on the stream, you're gonna continue getting codes. Uh, we'll do it one more time, give you an update on it. Make sure you guys go check out Twitter. So if you guys have a Twitter account, Make sure you're following uh, Planetside 2. I want to give back that love to Planetside 2 who's giving me those codes. So if you guys are following their Twitter account and my account at the same time, retweeting and liking that post that I just made on Twitter, you will have an opportunity for another op uh, for another code giveaway, regardless if you won right now on the stream or whatnot. I'm just going to give these codes away. I don't even know how else am I going to do it. There's, they just gave me a lot. <laughs> so you guys are going to get it. Um, all right, so that is true. Um, the NC did win. And so if I can get uh, if I can get 30 people to type elect right now in the chat that's saying that this is the force commander that you guys approve of, type elect right now in the chat and spam the crap out of his name if you think he deserves this code. Unbelievable. Oh, man. Unbelievable. <laughs> yes. yes. Unbelievable. Give him a code. Mad respect, yeah, guys. Man. You guys hear it right now. Elect, we're going to give you a code right now for winning that and getting that W here. Let's go ahead and get you elect 332 yeah, nice. <laughs> from RBRN. Easy peasy. That's, that's beyond 30. <laughs> I, think <you> guys, <laughs> I think you guys killed it. Uh, RBRN. And this is the force commander for NC. Like a Zerg, Archie. You once started, it's never going to stop. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that intense. <laughs> Uh, Alec, this is a DM directly to you. This is a uh, Fleet Ad Admiral's ninth anniversary bundle. One of the most expensive bundles that you can get. Congratulations, Ooh, is that everybody. Is the uh, recent oh, team one, or is that the laser guns one? I don't know. Uh, I just know that that's the... They <laughs> I gave I'm going to find out. Give me a second. They gave me a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to give a Quartermaster's bundle next right now for the stream. All right, guys? This is the Quartermaster's bundle giveaway. Exclamation mark join right now for your chance to win. And I hope to God you guys did not get banned. Um uh right now because if you did or if you get type banned you will not be able to type exclamation mark join so this is your opportunity to win right now a quarter masters giveaway exclamation mark join we're just going to hang out here and check out some lore and we're going to just keep talking and chilling together uh if there's any vs representatives that still want to show up over here um and you want them to come in feel free to basically reach out to the organizer salamander or valkyrie skies those are the ones i've approved so you can actually bring them in and uh, I want to give them that power because they made this opportunity happen I know you guys personally that want to come and talk please talk to them guys they put in so much freaking work we can always talk afterwards um, I'll keep my eye open and Chive as well I appreciate well, it Chive also put in loads of work <laughs> yeah Chive's uh, put in a lot of work organizing uh, a lot of the NC Savage then the Savage PSU broke. <laughs> then his PSU <laughs> broke basically and he Wait. couldn't participate <laughs> Oh man, but um, yeah, on the topic of the law, I don't, did you get to show those cards I before didn't. the stream? Oh, I didn't, I didn't, there's so much going oh, no. on. I didn't get to show, no, but we're going to do it right now. Up. We're going to do it right now. Uh, like, but can I preface just yeah. two important things? One, yeah. these were made in a hurry, so there are typos everywhere. Also, <laughs> um, the software I was using to make them, if I wanted the shadows to work right, I had to get rid of the text and stop it being text. So I couldn't go back and fix typos either. And secondly, I know a lot of people did sign up for these. I didn't get time to make all of them. I had to be a little bit brutal about the ones I could make. For example, people who had an NSO and didn't send in the right like picture. I couldn't do it because I don't have an NSO character, so I couldn't fix it for you. And I didn't have time to contact people to get them to fix it either and hunt people down through Discord. I just did not have enough time over this week to do everyone. I'm apologize apologize to you guys if you didn't get done this time i will try and finish the backlog and get them on the twitter over the coming week um just so that you have it i know it won't be as cool as having it before and up on the stream but i will do my best to get the backlog done as well um we, sorry i just wanted to go out there and say that because... not at all i mean it, it is it is important because if you guys feel like you've been left out that's not his intention that's really what he wants to say to you guys it's not his intention to say that hey i didn't get your your uh your community and your lore and so if you guys can do me a favor if you guys want to get in contact with salamander you have an outfit and you want to showcase it these organizers 
are going to be able to help you with that. He might not be able to make that all opportunity happen because he just forgot that the Cobalt Clash was happening weeks ago. And he's done his best. There's a lot of them that he's done so far, and he had only four yesterday. He finished another 10 today. Unbelievable. Let me go ahead and get a chance to share that with you. Let's go ahead and give right now. Kiz plays that W right there. Kiz, congratulations to you. He's outfit lead of... Uh... Is it Drunken Dogs? Kiz no. is BJ. Kiz is BJ. BJ, is that's the, the one. BJ. The BJ I don't know why it is, but in my head, I always kind of just mix Drunken Dogs and B BJ together. Congratulations over to you, Kiz. Place. <laughs> Savage. Savage. Look, dogs that's what happens like. when I'm a TR main. <laughs> yeah, no, BJ was revived a couple weeks ago, and Kiz was one of the uh, PLs he PLed for one of our QRF platoons, and he did amazing work on some of the base caps, uh, especially yeah. against TR sometimes. We're oh, still yeah, gonna be hanging out the sanctuary. Fantastic. We're still gonna I hang out in the sanctuary. I'm gonna go. Ahead. I'm gonna, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm gonna still say. No, I'm gonna, no, you go ahead. You go ahead. I'm gonna still stay in the sanctuary. So if you guys want to still hang out here, but we're gonna go show you some lore while they're still talking. Okay, guys. So when I switch the screen, I'm still there, but we're just gonna go ahead and show right now this next screen. I'm gonna let you say that next statement, and then I'm gonna go Salamander to go ahead and talk about the 16th Terran drop troopers, and then we're gonna learn oh. more about what this is, what we're looking at, and then we're gonna show you the rest of them. We'll just chat, and then I'll basically try to give some lore to each of you guys. Here we go. Let's go ahead and switch the screen. Yeah, I was just going to give a shout out to uh, BJ's Mercy and Elliot, who I fought alongside with in Lane Smash. Both fantastic player. Great experiences with them. And just on this quick segue about the NC, I also want to give a shout out to Atipic, who did a French language stream for this event as well, alongside Osprey. So that was a very interesting and unique little thing to do, and I hope the French side of the community enjoyed that. Cool. Um, while we're talking about that stuff and language side of the community, before I talk about this lore stuff, um, Lame Bambus, was it you or one of your outfit members who made that little German language trailer? Um, it did get on the Twitter eventually. I eventually managed to make Acting Araxis after I hunted GETR down to do their card. Um, which I, I put a lot of effort into making that pun. Um, but was was that one of your guys or was that you? It was me. Thank you very much for that. I really appreciated the effort that <laughs> people welcome. put into promote. So yeah. Um, so, so, so these cards... See, so these cards that you basically did, the body of the paragraph is going to explain the, uh, what 16 TD is all about. Shows you that leaders right there, the Salamander, languages, active members 52 in the last 30 days, age is about half a year, activities five days a week, multi-gaming, no. That means they're going to be strictly Planticide 2, and you'll see there's a lot of you guys out here that he's created going across the board, and it's just amazing to see what he's done. So we're just going to go and basically the top here. Would you like to read your statement here, and I'll try reading the rest of them. Good, because I'm pretty sure this one definitely has got a typo in it, so I can correct it while I'm going. Sure. So yeah, whilst I'm going paper, we're one of the youngest in the event. We actually, um, most of you would know us as 95th uh, Scourge Squadron, as most of our players were before. Um, that community ended up being a bit too top-heavy, a bit too big, and a little bit too invested in a few things. So in the end, we uh, we decided, to, well, I decided to leave that and just make a smaller outfit for me, if you other people went separate ways. And uh, we've basically been picking up from there. Um, it's formed around a core group of friends, which is a really important thing. The the people that we've known for a long time has become important in Planet Side 2. You carry along the same guys. But they've got a vast range of experiences. Like, um, I mean, we've had people who've done Outfit Wars. We've had people who've done Lane Smash. Um, a Dursa from CBT is technically in there. Um, uh, he hasn't been very active with us recently, but he's a good friend of mine. And, uh, like, again, we've got all of these people who have got a lot of experience in different places uh we second paragraph is all about um the recruitment side so what we expect from people what huh i was saying you basically it's not family friendly anymore you can cuss all you want no problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> so, my bad no but I, I just don't believe myself i'm like you sexy sorry on, on, just, on, the, on the bottom <laughs> on the bottom right of my screen while i was talking oh she just sent the, the word <laughs> no i was like what did i do no i said it no it's not family friendly anymore my bad <laughs> You're like, oh, oh she's Sorry. no. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Um, so yeah, all about the recruitment. So over the age of 16, we would like people to be able to um, like learn our tactics and our way of doing things and keep up with us and adapt to us. And we're also quite well known for having a dark sense of humor. So don't like I I'd advise against people joining if they're very easily offended. Um, and on the last one, I've tried to either make a joke or an observation about that. So yeah, uh, will we live up to what we've done before? And I think we did. We weren't quite as many people as we used to be when we are turning up for a clash, but I think the guys who did turn up did an amazing job. I think they outperformed anything I expected of them, and that's absolutely wonderful. Awesome.
Thank you so much. I just want to make sure the Salamander himself actually gave his, his personal card out there. Right now, we don't have uh, YM Ming here. He's the leader of 56 AB that we saw from the Terran forces. Languages that they speak is English and Russian. Uh, active members are 68 in the last 30 days. That's pretty damn big. Uh, age has been two years. Uh, alpha activity is five days a week. That's freaking awesome. It's a great alpha. It's for new players. The 56 Assault Battalion offers a wide range of gameplay opportunities. They run a mixture of vehicle squads, open squads, and ops squads, offering a variety of experiences to members. 56 AB we saw out there are known to be both proactive and skillful at recruiting new players and helping to get the grips uh, with the game. In fact, the main focus of the outfit is geared towards training new soldiers of the Terran Republic. The 56 Assault Battalion have participated successfully in Clash in the past, and while they have high activity rate, the lack of regular joint operations may prove a weakness working with the wider TR. And that's basically the current situation right now. 56 AB, make sure you go check them out. Next one is 91 AR Armored NC Regiment. If I ever see you in the air, I just need your name change. I'm just kidding. Um, armor is actually also probably for air too. Uh, <laughs> Axiom Exotic is the leader here. English is their main uh, language here. 122 members in the last 30 days. Holy sh**. Nice job. Six years active duty. Outfit activity. Three days a week multi-gaming as well. Explains why they have 122 members. Because of that multi-gaming aspect where they have an opportunity to connect with each other and other games and bring it back into Planet Side for their major events. Like their name suggests, 91 AR is an outfit that is primarily focused on vehicle play in Planet Side 2. Despite this, this large size also means that they are regularly seen as infantry, taking part in open squads. They're easy, they're an easy group going, uh, going group and very proud of their trademark metallic pink and gold tanks. Open to any active members, training for 91 AR is the more of a casual affair. With a core of veteran members, they can offer advice on a wide range of subjects, which is why they encourage new members to join their Discord server. The question is whether the going will still be easy by the time they are finished. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go on the next one. Arc P, Architects of the Pyramid. Ramses 303 is their leader. Language is English. Active members 50 in the last 30 days, age three years. Alpha activities two days a week and they do play multiple different games. The outfit age of the Architects of the Pyramid is a misleading metric. While the outfit itself has only existed for three years. It has many members with thousands of hours of experience, giving them a unique effectiveness on the battlefield. In addition, their focus of respect and friendship elevates the rapid team play that they relay that they rely on in game. <clears throat> a friendly and welcoming group RP will accept anyone of any age or skill level, offering a unique combination of cats and pyramids. Uh, along with training and mentoring by countless veterans. This outfit provides an absolute solid group of fast-moving, hard-hitting infantry to the TR cause. And they'll, will they be enough to keep the Terran Republic dreams of victories alive? That's a good question. I don't know. Stay tuned. Let's next one. Sure I think we know the answer. It turned out to be no. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. That was actually really good. Uh, let's look at that. Uh, She's allowed to say it. Yes, sir. We have two BJ members. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah, I was about to ask. We have they, the BJ can... leader waiting in the drag me up. Fantastic. They, we got the BJ read. leader here heart. right now. BJ from Kiz and as well as Arrow. Can you guys help me learn more about you guys right now? You guys are on the screen. Would you guys read this out loud or just give me a short summary within one minute? I can do a short summary within a minute. So as you can obviously see on it, um, and as Alex said earlier, we have recently revived. Uh, we are a smaller focused outfit, fast pace, point holding, as you all saw earlier. Getting in on those points, getting those point holes down, getting those hard caps off, and just try, trying to put as much weight as we can with as little numbers as possible. And again, going back to what Alex said earlier, uh, we took a bit of a break, um, just from like burnout and so on, and then we've come back in like the last month or so. Uh, and yeah, we're trying to get things back on back on, on flow sort of thing. Uh, so yeah, it was nice for Alex to, and Chive to bring us back in for Cobalt Clash so we can get our name back out there again nice and quick. So yeah, yeah, it was, thanks, it was a great clash. Um, nice work, Alec, and GG to TR and VS. It was a lot of fun, uh, and thank you for letting us come back in. No, 100%. And you did it less than 45 seconds. Nice job. <laughs> saw that right here. I was like, damn, he's clear and concise. It's to the point. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yes. RC, by the way, I I remember you were very excited about that Mikala tech fight about halfway during the uh, what alert. What was, was going BJ. on that with that? That was the BJ platoon. Nice was, job, yeah, guys. Oh, shocked! I was, shocked. I was like, okay, this Me is not fair. For that. 
That stuff. was oh, we were so close. I was so gutted when we lost. Like oh. I was looking at the pub and I saw it climbing and climbing and climbing. I was like, can we do it? Can we do it? But no, we we were so close. We were so close. But yeah, bridge too far and all that. Oh, that was an epic basically hold you guys did. Unbelievable. Sitting in that balcony stairs and I'm just watching players just coming in and you guys I don't even know what the hell to do in that situation if you're a new player. You're just gonna panic. You'd be like, <laughs> uh, I can tell you from my end, it was a whole lot of shouting. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, if you guys haven't had a chance to play with 48 people in a platoon and in the squad of 12 that are literally tryharding, trying to win this point, you're seeing people out of position, you shoot your own teammate who ran across your engineer line, you're like, get the f out of my way! Just like sitting there, it's like a real movie situation, guys. You have to play with these squads to understand the intensity. It's fun. It's overall fun in the end. But they mean they mean business. That's what yep. I'm talking about. Is BJ a casual outfit? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> so that's um, what I love so how it. We're, we're a mix. To be fair, we are a healthy mix. We we sort of do casual, sort of chill, like farm ops and just chilling out and just having a laugh uh, on the day to day. But when we go into ops, it's it's knuckle down, shut up, listen to the squad leader, focus and try hard. The only comms we should be going through is call outs and useful information. So when we go, we go hard and. I do a lot of shouting. I love it. I love Actually, it. Since I've since I've got you here, kids. Um, I, I I wrote these like little blurbs completely off of the top of my head. Um, well, from the information that people gave me on a little like form. Uh, form. Is this accurate to you guys? Did I get it right? Uh, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. Pretty much spot on. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much like spot on, dude. And kids, right. I must apologize for saying you're from Drunken Dogs. No, no, it's fine, dude. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> BJ and Drunken Dogs go way back. We've we've basically been attached to the hip since both outfits came about. We pretty much started at the same time. And yeah, um, we actually have a ridiculously healthy relationship with TDKD and we always have. It's like oh, brilliant. we're basically filling each other's like opposites essentially. They're like the more open ended, sort of laid back, bigger outfit that's more catered towards newer players, and then we sort of do the more sweaty, try hardy, you know basement dwelling kind of gaming <laughs> yeah, I, just no, wanna, I, just wanna, I just wanna basically clarify one thing for a lot of people that are basically sending me DMs right now because I don't have time to read I think I just got 10 new DMs um, if you guys are curious about what I do on this channel all I want to do is basically provide good vibes guys usually I don't want to basically cut that off the, the fun so if there's a specific person you guys don't like because they did XYZ or they griefed you or they bugged you if that player is banned inside of planet side 2 and you guys know that player is banned and they want to come in to actually have a voice that's when i will basically remove them off the stream because it's the same thing as being a twitch streamer and if you're a banned twitch streamer i can't basically showcase you and if you're a banned planicide 2 player i don't want to showcase you either because if the developers had the chance to ban you then and you're currently banned that's the best thing that i can do is not to basically represent that player until they get unbanned by the devs who's actually done whatever they possibly could so let's just focus on good stuff guys and basically maintain good vibes man. i love you guys um we have some new individuals here as well and I want to basically showcase that. We've got more and more uh, commanders and squad leaders coming in. So let me know if you guys can take your turns. We're going to go through this. And if your name does not show up on here on these banners that Salamander's created, I don't mind giving you that time so we can learn more about your company. And we'll go basically zoom into you in the sanctuary so we can see your actual characters and your tags. So that way, if you don't have a banner, don't worry. Just get in the sanctuary one on Cobalt and we'll show you guys from there. Uh, BJ, thank you guys so much for that great showcase right now. Let's uh, go. Thank you for having us on. Oh, basically, feel free to stand by. We're gonna basically do some more stuff at the end. But if it's too much time, feel free to drop out and then come back in whatever you like. Let's go over to the Bros, the Brutal Onslaught, and I'm gonna go ahead and basically bring in TPDV as well as Jones as well. If the Bros was physically oh, here right now, I would have basically let the Bros basically speak. But right now, Wanderer CJ is that leader. The language they speak are English and Russian is a secondary. And the reason why they speak Russian is so they can tell you guys, all the English players, to basically step it up. That's what I'm talking about. But they speak Russian. Don't take it personal. I'm just kidding. Uh, active members, 266 in the last 30 days. The bros is here to represent. Age three years, activity three days a week, multi-gaming. By far one of the largest outfits contributing to the Terran Republic force. Taking part of this call, uh, Cobalt Clash, Brutal Onslaught, brings a solid combined arms formation to the battlefield. This international community offers a friendly environment combined with an array of opportunities. Brutal Onslaught has a battle rank of 25 plus 4 joiners. So that means that's a requirement, guys. If you are a brand new player, don't think about the bros. Think about battle rank 25 before you apply. And the bros offering training, webinars, as well as mentoring, and a self-made guidebook, including information on game settings and loadouts for beginners. 
This is insane. This MMO that I'm currently playing, I won't say the name because we're currently talking about Planetside 2, doesn't do anything for that for new players. Every new player in this game that I'm currently playing will shun new players out. And you're seeing Planetside 2, every one of these communities are accepting of new players every step of the way. You guys are freaking epic. Keep it up. And that's the reason why Planetside 2 is still alive. It's thanks to your communities. Uh, though it was impressive force in its own right, the lack of regular uh, practice in joint operations with other communities may slow them down in this big event. Hey, yo! Hey, man, bros, you gotta step it up and start basically trying to clap Elect and then the rest of their community in the NC and VS side. It's time to basically step it up. Make it happen. Live on stream. Um, let's go to Dior. We've got Christian Dior here. Leader is Brenhan. I don't think we have Brenhan here. Um, active members is 52 in the last 30 days. Age is two years old. Seven days a week is their outfit activity. And they're multi gaming. Um, Seven days a week, Banshee. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. You're so mean. Seven days a week of Banshee. Tell me more about uh, Dior, if you don't mind, Cedric. I'll let you basically speak. I'll give you one minute. Go. I mean, what should I tell you? We are sitting in vehicles and farming little ants on the ground. That's all what we are doing. Fantastic. So, ants <laughs> is a vehicle that they're farming, guys. We're not talking about the actual insect. I'm just kidding. Um,. That's that's intense. Uh, who would basically give you guys trouble? Would you say give out some shout outs to those players that actually, you know, have a counter or zerg you back, whatever they need to do to stop you? Hmm. Does anybody stand out to you? Oh, I, I mean, it's getting too much at some point most of the times. That's that's the way we are losing it. But in terms of air, b Peng probably, but they are on TR, so. In terms of air, I would say nobody. I, I think it. Cobalt might have a little bit of an issue where a lot of the biggest air outfits all kind of sit on TR at the moment. <laughs> I mean, oh, we, we, a lot of them we do ironed... play other factions as well, of course. Okay, I mean, we we ironed that out f the last three years. Yeah, we were we were ongoing fighting for the last three years, and C versus TR, and at some point it's getting annoying, so we all play TR. <laughs> That's that's the basic reason behind the, the massive air dominance on, on TR and not on any other faction. If I was going to play on Cobalt and I was going to create a company to go against these guys, let's learn how many hours they have put into the air and the skill ceiling that you're going to have to approach here against uh, these amazing air pilots. Um, tell me more about how many hours you put into the air so everybody has an idea, Cedric, and the majority of your team that actually plays uh... on the client side. Give me a second. You can read the, the thing first. Let me let me look up something. Thank you. That's, okay. that's, that's what that's he very much wants you to read. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, no, no, uh, okay, no, man. He's actually loading this time. So we, we have a total member count of, I don't know, 60 or something. Uh -huh. And all members together played 14 years. Damn. 14 years and you guys have not basically had a single fight. Unbelievable. Uh, still sticking together after all these years. <laughs> Christian Dior is a fun, if slightly mental, explains it. A uh, bunch of lads and one of the few major vehicle outfits on this list. Their squads are mainly focused on using aircraft and tanks to inflict a maximum damage possible upon the enemy numbers, not to mention morale. When asked what makes them unique, however, the simple answer was, we killed two bastions with the April Fool's hammer. Are you kidding me, bro? That hammer right now you're showing me is what you guys killed it with? That is so messed up. Is that a knife that does damage to vehicles? It is, it is a knife, but it only did damage eight hours uh, after the patch to vehicles, and then it got patched out, and now it's a normal knife. This is Sadly. Insane. It was a bit fun, to be honest. Oh, of course, man. Anytime it basically you bring in a new option, if you just want to abuse the crap out of it, that's literally what we all do in MMOs. Dior is looking for people to have fun in the game and return offer and in return offers training of all kinds of vehicles. This group has left their mark on Cobalt Clash before, but this weekend be the hammer time. Or will they end up being the April Fools? Oof. I feel like they're the April Fools right now with the NC taking that W. Oh god. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, I do have to handle it hand it to them. Even if we lost the alert, I don't think there was ever a moment where I felt like VS or NC had air dominance. It was just no. always floods of mosquitoes yeah. in the air. Yeah, no, that was another thing. I had a full squad of uh, Skyguards on the TR front, and I had my anti-air SL shout to me, I need more Skyguards. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's painful. 
I, I just I was watching the air and I was just like, I don't see any air presence. Unless if there's no TR presence, then I saw air presence. That's when I saw it. But I did see a huge fight next to a Bastion fleet carrier, but we lost it. The VS Bastion went down. I don't know how you guys shot that last hard point because of the of the uh, sad sad truth is I can only basically render up to 50 people on this game because it will destroy your PCs and you'll start seeing smoke coming out of it. Um, I don't know who the hell shot that last hard point. There's just one? too many people. Which one do you mean? The first Bastion? It was probably the Bastion where there was a very heavy fight between the VS and the TR. And, uh, and then it was the first, and that one got destroyed by four TR Colossus sitting in front of the oh VS board so they God. can't run back in. You b****. I wonder I couldn't understand what happened. I was like, I don't see any air shooting this thing. And I didn't basically pay attention to lasers. You know me with lasers, guys. If you shoot seriously a single laser beam, I would actually follow through it. So I didn't get probably a chance yeah, to see that much. for you. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, Colossus, as cool as the giant laser cannon looks, it has a very bad habit of not rendering if you're not near the tank. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. Um, and if you have over 300 versus 300 versus 300 on a server, guys, uh, you're, kind of, you're kind of screwed right now. So whatever the case is, you, you proceed with caution with your Bastion Fleet Carrier and position it in a way where after you've done your scouting of where Colossus can be, move your vehicle to that destination. Uh, it's very similar to playing uh, StarCraft 2, guys. Um, StarCraft 2, you have Fog of War. You'll never see that vehicle in position. You'll constantly get hit over and over and over again until you actually identify where that unit is. It doesn't just all of a sudden appear just because you got hit. Um, there are some perks that you can take to identify where the hell they are, though. Um, all right, so let's go to Flag. Companions of the Black Flag, NR12. They're English-speaking, 63 active members in the last 30 days, age one year, three days a week, multi-gaming. A young dynamic... Are they here? Is Flag here? Uh, a young... I'm trying I mean, to get I'd, someone, I'd... but they're not replying. No problem. I mean, I'd, I'd happily read out their... Well, talk along their one, because they're in a broad alliance with my outfit. We've got JRTF, which is seven outfits on TR. Okay. Uh, which, when outfit alliances become official, is probably going to be a thing. Um, Companions of the Black Flag are one of the younger ones in that alliance. I think that they were the first or second we recruited after we founded. Mm. And, yeah, they, they're a lovely bunch of lads. Um... They've got this, they've, yeah, as I put, the ch chill tryhards kind of atmosphere where they're, they're trying to keep up with the QRF kind of play, the fighting on points, the Resonade Wars, but they don't, they don't go too, too seriously and they're trying to keep a, a good laugh going on at the same time. Um, like a lot of groups, they are mainly looking for people who are willing to improve when they're recruiting people. They're not looking for a specific skill level already. They're not going to be elitist and say, now nah, you can't join us. What it is, is the, the mentality where I want to get better. And that's what you'll find a lot of Planet Side 2 outfits looking for. And uh, they, again, one of the larger groups, one of the larger outfits in our little association as well. And so they can work a lot more independently than the rest of us, which are basically squad fits at this point. So it, it's nice to see them being able to operate independently. They were on a different flank from us this nice. time, so we didn't get too much interaction with them. But yeah, they're a wonderful bunch of guys. That's awesome, man. Sure. I often get pings from the primary plant side e Discord asking who are good people for new TR players to join on Cobalt. The flag leader and has I have to say, me. Him up. I would always recommend 56AB and Flag are two fantastic outfits for very new players. They're very friendly people and very helpful. We have got Flag in the Drag Me In channel. Fantastic. Looks like we got Flag no. here. We're going to learn more about him. Give him a minute to help us understand more about their perspective. We've got here... I've got Spence. Got my spam. Spenzaria. Yes, I got big tie. Spenzaria, tell me more <laughs> about Flag, the companions of the Black Flag. Oh. Should I be sweating um, when I see you? Yes, definitely. <laughs> That's well, what I'm talking about. Well, definitely if you see Spence, I can speak for his skill. I'll take that. I'll take that every day of the week. Sometimes. Tell me more about his skill. What, is, what does he stand out to you when you see Spens? Spens? Oh. Well, I knew Spens from back when he was still in TTRO. He was perhaps one of the members of that outfit who was most pushing towards let's, let's upskill ourselves. Let's get involved with the competitive community. Let's do our best. And I've always seen Spens got to try his absolute best. And I think that's a fantastic uh, attitude for anyone to have because it kind of helps your community flourish. It helps everyone involved have more fun. And I love it. I always thought it was really good of you. I love thank it. Thank you, thank you. So let me know more about Flag and what are you doing it? Are you the right now NR twelve is your leader? I would assume that you are co leading or like just another officer or what is your what is your rank? And let me know more about Flag. Um 
I am uh, just officer, basically. Uh, Twelve are our one lead, and then we have uh, five officers below him, of which I am one. Um, we're basically a midfit, around 100 people. Uh, we do infantry stuff and vehicle stuff. Uh, infantry stuff is like uh, quick response force, uh, point holds, that kind of stuff. Uh, and our armor squad uh, is run by our lovely Supreme Morpheus, uh, who runs it, I think, one times a week. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, if I wanted to join your company, uh, what do I have to do? Um, you just have to join. Just join? Uh, That's it? Just a single click? Or is there like requirements? Or, uh... No, we look for people who, uh, who have a will to improve um, and who have a mic, basically. Awesome. So microphone is very important for, for yes, if you're joining. Yes, definitely. You heard Comms it is, is the most important thing, always. Awesome. Thank you so much for basically coming by, man. I appreciate it. Companion, yeah, no black worries, no worries. I salute you guys. Great job today. Let's go to the next. We've got G-E-T-R, German Tactical Resistance. Do we have them in here? We do not. I'm just going to go ahead and basically do a quick read over it. K-J-N-G. They are German-speaking. They are active members of 69. Age 10 years. Outfit activity four days a week. Multi-gaming, yes. This goes to show, guys, even if you do speak another language, you still can play Planetside 2. It doesn't require you to speak a lick of English, as long as you understand what, it, what you're clicking on. <laughs> Other than that, an ancient name and the annuals of Planetside 2. The German Tactical Resistance outfit has been around almost a decade. Part of their longevity may be due to their nature as a multi-gaming clan. Players uh, playing not just Planetside 2, but a wide variety of other games together on a regular basis, with Araxas being just one location amongst many. And that is very important when you're actually going to run a gaming community, um, is giving them Archie, I'm sorry, but uh, King is on the way, if you want to wait. Fantastic. Uh, Looks like we've got King, ladies and gentlemen, on his way. We're going to go ahead and basically uh, skip this, and we'll come right give back. Give me one sec. No problem. We're going to go ahead and basically go to Jimsy. Jimsy's German sovereignty. Do I have anybody from Jimsy here to represent? We do indeed. I'm still here. Lamb Bambus, tell me more about Jimsy, my dude. One minute on the clock, go. Yeah, sure. If you're German and you play on Vanu, the mighty the mighty forces from Papa Vanu, then come over and join us. We are like a midfit, cause small outfits. Sometimes we have like just one squad, sometimes we have like two squads. But if you're new in the game, you want to learn something, you need some guys who guide you and take you in the arm, um, come over to us. We're kind to everyone. You just need to be at least about rank 6, so we can invite you in the outfit. But if you have no plan about the game, doesn't matter. If you're a veteran and want to improve, that's not a matter. If you want to come and teach new guys as a veteran, you're welcome. We're like just the German side of the beginner community. So we have like guides, we have like trainings, we have some Jaeger accounts where you guys can practice air duels. We do scrimmage stuff there. So we have like the whole thing you can do in planet side doesn't matter if it's tank air or infantry on a beginner level so it can fit in the game and find your way with some support that's what i'm talking about thank you so much that was exactly one minute and you just heard it right here they're stealing all the germans from the tr side you just heard a german tactical resistance start running i'm just kidding um, uh, Ashik, <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm, uh, I'm sorry uh, kitchen said uh, he cannot make it I'm no sorry. problem no problem we're just gonna go ahead and basically finalize that statement for these guys german tactical resistance the Getter community is open to German speaking over ages of 18. Maturity and open mindedness is a must in, with this group, so they're looking for more mature gamers. So if you're under 18, I do not recommend it as they will basically clap your cheeks live off stream. And at the same time, uh, they're looking for people that believe in teamwork. In exchange, the veterans of this community offer their experience to no joiners. Returning once again to, for the clash, will Getter be adding another glorious chapter to their ancient history? Not today. Looks like the NC is taking it. Big heart goes out to you guys. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for putting on, their, on your efforts out there. Uh, Jimsy, thank you so much. Lamb Bambus, we're just still here. Hang out. We'll basically come right back to you. Let's go to Jomes. Jomes, Vikings, Vanu. Do we have anybody from Jomes here to represent? Yes, oh, we have uh, Rias himself. Rias Onichan is here. How oh, you doing? Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Can I just, while we're here, yeah. I'm sorry for misspelling your name. I literally couldn't go back and change it by the time I found out. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was writing really, that on Twitter as well. Really was sorry. Like, Come on. <laughs> I got one extra N instead of an extra I, and I could, by the time I found out, like it would have taken me the same time to go remake it, and there were so many more, and it was a small mistake. So again, I'm very sorry about that. Yeah, Falcon, okay. how could you let your it, it anarchy down like that? Oh god. 
<laughs> Don't worry, guys. Listen, if you guys are worried about misspellings and grammatical mistakes, you guys clearly know how many mistakes I've made on Outfit Wars and shoutcasting and saying the wrong names from 99% of you. So I'm not here to intend to admit to make fun. <laughs> what do you mean? I didn't know how to say half of their names, if not 99% of them. It was really bad. I went back and rewatched those VODs and I was just dying inside for how many names I've destroyed. But when you're trying to sit there and try to shoutcast and names are actually floating around, those, those letters jumble in my eyes. I'm assuming I just don't know how to read. Uh, let's go ahead and give that individual right here, Rias Onichan, uh, an opportunity to help us more uh, understand more about Jumps. Uh, yeah, Jumps is basically a new outfit from Wano that was uh, making last year. Uh, we was playing the two clashes uh, again. Before, uh, we are focusing on tactical team play, on infantry dropping and having some fun as well. And maybe as you write our uh, lore pretty well, uh, we are not a sh uh, we, lo we love the Vikings, that means we are not afraid to die. <laughs> we are pushing together, we, we have a pretty good uh, community over there. I love the people over there. We can have fun, we can play tactical, and we just still try to improve our gameplay together. I hope uh, that the other outfits will uh, see that in the future as well. And of course, uh, we were staying today in Valhalla because we did a great job. Awesome. I'm somewhat, like, I've got a lot of uh, knowledge of Norse mythology and such, so I, I, I took some flair with your one. <laughs> <laughs> so... Tell me more about if I was going to join Jomes right now and uh, you guys are currently one year old, how did you guys recruit 100 plus members and actively keep them that way? What are you doing to make these guys stay active? Uh, basically, um, this is work from my officers and um, commanders as well um, because I, I made the outfit, but I'm happy that everybody's helping me. So um, we discussion about how we can improve uh, stuff, how we can uh, take people inside, how we can uh, make people to enjoy uh, planet side with playing together. Many people don't know how, or if you're a new player, you don't know how to play in a squad or something else. We will have the time for that. We will teach you uh, in the future will come uh, tutorials for beginners and we, as I say, we uh, improve the tactical gameplay and uh, playing together is is a big thing by us. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I was having issues as far as the overlays are basically having an issue. I dragged an overlay over to the right. And so I was like, what is going on? I saw this overlay over there, so I had to move it. It's just, it's, it's just driving me crazy. I was like, how is this thing happening this way? But thanks so much, Jumps. I appreciate you basically coming by and making this happen. Tell me more about one last thing, if you don't mind. What was the highlight of today's matchup on Cobalt Clash? Uh, I think the highlight was that we basically hold uh, the last fight on the NC's base. That was a pretty hard fight. Uh, it was pretty sad that we lose, uh, lose that. There was uh, like uh, over two platoons from VS, from NC, so many rest grenades. We just stand up, die, stand up, die, get killed, C4, knives, there was everything, flashes. That was for me a pretty uh, nice moment on the clash. 100%. Dude, that was an epic basically moment. And I bet like your comms are going crazy and everybody's screaming trying to hold that down. A lot of you guys <laughs> yeah, probably... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I could tell. Everybody's like, throw rest grenades. It's just out of control. Yeah, exactly. That was, uh, throw rest grenades. Uh, <laughs> I don't have ammunition. We need to reload. Why did they knifing? Just knife. <laughs> Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. This was Jones, Rias Onechan. And uh, tell me more about your name. Why Rias Onechan? Do you like Rias a lot? Uh, uh, well, because I'm a nerd. Bec uh, I like gaming and I like anime. Me too. And I don't know. Is Rias it? was taking, so it was okay. Then I just take Rias Onechan. I love it. Sugoi, Sugoi. That's your name. <laughs> Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> is this uh, is this from um, uh, what anime is it from? Ria? So you're talking about Ria High Gregory? I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> shameful, shameful. Do not well, Google that. You... Chat. Do not Google that. I'm just saying right now. Don't Google it. This is. If you know, you know. Uh, if you know, you know. We're just gonna keep it that way. I was like, is that Ria? Just... The, the actual Ria I'm talking about? Yeah, he's talking about that. Oh God. <laughs> Come on, it's basically a chess, uh, a chess anime. <laughs> <laughs> Um, good yeah, charge yes, alert, <laughs> shh, shh. Uh, we're just gonna go next one. Don't tell Raleigh I said that. Um, all right, next one. We're gonna go NMA. Archie. 
Uh, <laughs> dude, Rius is uh, is next level. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you that right oh, now. Oh yeah. When I saw Rius on Ichan join our channel, I thought it was a girl, and I was sitting there just waiting for Rius on Ichan to speak, and then it was a guy. I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, okay, it's not actually. I was yeah, like, I, I'm sorry. No, not I'm at all. Sorry. I was like, is Job's leader in Rias and Nietzsche trying to say they're Rias and Nietzsche? And I was like, I'm just kidding. No, I was just like excited. I was like, my bad, dude. A good representation. <laughs> no. uh, we've got right here uh, NMA. Do we have an NMA representative here? Looks like we don't. We're going to go ahead and basically talk about them real quick. They are also a German speaking outfit with 34 active members, nine years old. These are really old outfits. The game literally has been out for 10 years. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, 2014, 2012. The game's been out for 12, nine years, right? Nine to 10 years? I'm giving yeah, away the ninth anniversary half, bundle. Like, now, roughly, the oldest we got was decade old. Um, but then there's like not a 2012 lot is when I played the game. Right when it came out. So yeah, it's about 10 yeah, years old. Sure. Yeah, so it's 10 years yeah. old. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I was going to say, like, I, I remember basically going down to San Diego, meeting the devs uh, at that time, um, like Higby and all those guys. And I got these these things right here from that event. I like, were really like, outside camping, and they just handed these out. And then they only gave us one. And I had to like ask my three other friends, "Can you give me the TR and the VS version, man, if you don't mind?" And I got all three, and they're freaking awesome for doing that. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, it was legendary. And so here we are right now, basically talking about this game. They've been nine years old. They've been a part of this game from the very beginning. And uh, Atmosphere is their leader. And let's get a chance to learn more about them. Another outfit on the list vying for a spot of the oldest active outfits look at that well said the new model army has certainly been around for a good while at home either on cobalt live server or on jaeger server all oh, these good jaeger players jesus christ uh the new model army tends more towards the tactical side of the game nma also operates both infantry and air squads for even more opportunities primarily concerned about the activity of prospective new recruits rather than any existing skill level or battle rank as they look for new players that have fun within the game new model army regular takes off to competitive servers to play exactly why i said jaeger is intense but will but will those lessons matter in the chaos of something of this scale that is a very very good question as you can see nma representing the nc taking that w congratulations to you guys that's what i'm talking about let's go to the next one we got oops we did it <laughs> Is this really a, a company? Yes. No, you did it. Yes, we are. You, you did it. The Britney reference. No, you yes. did it. I literally sat there. I was like, all right, I don't know if it's really oops or it's probably uh, OOPS. I was like, it is really oops. Oh, my God. Talk to me. Okay. It I, is I'm, oops. I'm, I'm, yes. I'm just going to let you do it. Big shout out to the Britney fans <laughs> oh, who got that reference. At least we freed um, her, man. We freed her. That's all we care about. <laughs> just don't go on our Instagram it. channel right I now. I phrased this nope. specifically so that we could have, oops, we did it again on the first line and never again throughout the whole thing because it wouldn't have made any sodding sense. It's the only one where the tag appears in the sense, in the text. That's amazing. <laughs> I, I get, great job getting that right now, not going to lie. Um, I know. It, well, it was it was OOP5, and then um, it was a dead fit that had the S. So uh, thankfully, we managed to steal it off them. So yes, we got we got oops. So it looks good. Yeah, we're a, we're a, about a one year old outfit founded by Masona. We have a council of five who basically keep the outfit out of drama, work with uh, other outfits, and uh, organize events like events like this. Um, we're a bit of a mixed bag. We've been, uh, we're a big bunch of friends, really. We're a great community. Uh, we don't just play Planet Side. We play a whole bunch of games. Um, we have, we had an infantry squad and an armor squad tonight. Um, we have players that play regularly with Reborn, TD Getty, BJ, and uh, and Reapers in uh, infantry armor and air. So um, we're all about uh, playing with other outfits. And uh, creating a good sense of uh, a good sense of community. So, uh, Masona, our founder, was uh, running the infantry squad, and then uh, shout out to Chump for running the uh, for running the armor squad tonight as well. So, um, so yeah, we're uh, we, we 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 don't like drama. We like uh, peace and harmony, much like yourself, and um, creating a, creating a fun community for for people to come and play with. So. If you want to join Oops, uh, just uh, drop myself or one of the other guys in the chat a message, but uh, you'll find us in-game running public platoons um, or out and about doing other things. So, Hell yeah, dude. Nice job, man. And congratulations on your victory today. You met us before on the outfit for us, actually. A hundred percent. I was going to say, I know for yeah. a fact. I just didn't know it was Oops, we did it again. Were you guys Oops then? 
Nope. Uh, no, we what? weren't, but that's a long story, so we'll not go into that today. No worries, man. We, no are, worries. we are oops. So I, I know Call Me Chive, of course. I was going to say, I saw your name. I was like, 100%. I also know uh, no name to, uh, FTW man as well. No name. Do you want to basically uh, add anything to what he just said? Oh, no, not necessarily. It's like uh, what Chive said. Um, I didn't uh, hear. Uh, wanted to listen to the debrief, basically, in a, in a sense. So. No, 100%. Well, hey, cool. thanks for basically stopping by. You guys did great. Let's go to the next office so we can basically give away. We're going to do a giveaway while we're talking, guys. You're going to go ahead and just get type exclamation mark join right now for your opportunity to get another giveaway. We're going to do a Quartermaster's 9 anniversary bundle. Exclamation mark join for your chance to win. All right, next one. We got PXGP, the Phoenix group. Is there a PXGP representative here? Nope. I Where's don't Estrel? think there is, like, in Chase, one of them. Actually, I'm literally yeah, walking through it. Where's Astral? Where is Astral? What? Wait, hang on. Astral, oh, oh, sorry, give me no, a no, second. No. We can't let this one go. Is he in the server? He's not in the server. Let me... We'll just skip this one. We'll come back. Let, <laughs> them, let these yeah, guys. Come back to this one. Let these guys come back. No problem. We'll let the PXGP Astral Dynasty make that opportunity happen for his community. We're going to go. He's only seven years old, guys. Make sure you guys be patient with him. I'm just kidding. It's aged seven years. It's, it's a company. Um, all right, RBRN, the NC Reborn. Oh. RBRN, are you here? Yes, I am. Fantastic. Elect is here. He's going to be representing. He's going to let me know more about his rank DF. LP is the lead. They have uh, 626 um, active f***ing members? Yes. What? No. Yes, at one year old, that, uh, mm. that one grew quite quickly. I don't believe you. All right, well, guys. I mean, you, you, All right, you, guys. you can check uh, Fisher right, if you want. Let's, go, let's get a chance to see this right now. Can I get RBRN fans oh, right now? Fisher. Everybody that's RBRN, I want you to spam <laughs> that right now in the chat. Cedric TV one What yeah. the f***? <laughs> There's no f***ing way. Did it that easy. doesn't make any sense, guys. There's literally over 50 of you typing exclamation mark join. That's unbelievable. He's for sure did an exploit on this one. Yep, we know about his right. exploits. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I can't even stop him from basically just explaining my stream. I'm just kidding now. Uh. Um, congratulations to you, Cedric. We're going to go ahead and send you this code Thank right now. Thank you. What the... Serves it for the Banshee support. Let me go and make sure no I don't always. do any leaks right now. Give me a second. Do I've, not do it again. I've Ashi, done this not, not again. way too many times. All right, uh -huh. so let's go ahead and basically do Cedric right here. TV, congratulations to you. I'm sending you your code personally. There you go. Let me know if that code works, unless if they already stolen all the keys. Uh, nah, probably, right. probably will work. All right, let's go ahead and let's get started on the next one. Uh, this VOD, guys, if you guys are watching right now, will be available to you by tomorrow. We're going to basically keep the VOD closed. And I'm going to review it, and I'm going to make sure I give away these codes um, on time. Because if I leave the VOD open, people will just clip it and then just take the VOD. So the VOD is not available for you guys just because of how many mistakes we make on stream for all tabbing and going into different scenes and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get started for the next scenes, guys. All right, so RBRN, NC, Reborn. Talk to me, Alec. Yeah, but our NC Reborn is an outfit that was founded a little over a year ago, I think it was like 12, uh, I mean 13-ish months ago by DFLP. Uh, unfortunately, a couple months ago, real life kind of caught up to him, so I am uh, currently the leader of RBRN. Uh, that's just how oh. things go, uh, unfortunately. You're the leader of the RBRN right now? Oh, yes. okay. Yes, I am. Got it. So Sorry, this, this is came a, out this for is, this, is, this, is, this is news. This is news. Did it just yeah. happen today? No, 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 quite a while ago. I mean, he's still in the in the leadership, but he doesn't really have time to play anymore. So Got it. So because basically, you're here stuff. to represent as lead. He might have the title, yes. but you, you're the lead now. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Well, it's all uh, yeah, so. it was an outfit founded about a year ago, basically in an effort to uh, increase the organization of the TR and give... Uh, the, at that point, there were a lot of semi-dead NC outfits. So we basically wanted to change that with a very active, very big NC outfit focused on platoon play. At some point, even multiple platoon play uh, to ensure that a lot of people on the NC had a lot of fun, but also had a focus where to go for, in our, which in our case is alert wins. Uh, so yeah, we have, uh, as you can see in the tag, we run ops basically every single day of the week, uh, ranging from armor, air to infantry. Uh, some days of the week, we'll even run uh, two platoons. Last time we did our anniversary ops, we even had three platoons up. 
so yeah we are uh we are not uh the the quote unquote skill fits like uh bj or some of the other outfits might be we do have some uh specialized squads running uh from time to time which we call our op squads in which we do do uh coordinated operations with outfits like that to ensure that our uh more try hardy player base also uh has, has a good time basically but uh our main focus is the the big platoons which you run basically every single day of the week so Jesus, three platoons, guys. Okay, I just want to just re reiterate on that, okay? Because I ran probably the very first day Planetside first came out. 14,000 players were, like, the highest peak. I, I don't know how many. No, 140. I don't know how many players. Basically, the first day. 26K. 26K. Right. Yeah, it was a insane amount of players, okay? Like, I can't describe to you what the servers were like when I was playing. But I could literally just advertise my company or outfit. I keep calling it company because I'm playing another game. Uh, so I can advertise my uh, my outfit in just a single all chat or proxy voice, and I would just get like a hundred new players in a second. We ran three platoons back in the day, and at one point in time, I asked everybody to get the T two striker. It was super super overpowered at the time. You can just hold right click, lock on from massive distances, and shoot five rockets at anything, and it would just die. Before that, it was basically the um, the unlimited render distance of the uh, anti vehicle uh, little mana mm -hmm. turret. That you would get for um <laughs> that you would get for your engineer class and i would just have a hundred of them we would just go to the warp gate and just camp because you only can take aircraft out of the warp gate back in the day they didn't even have they didn't have a lattice system it was a hex system and so you would just sit there and destroy everybody at the warp gate and just have a hundred freaking maxes and just sit there and shoot the freaking warp gate of all the aircraft coming out and it would just be a warp gate battle all day i don't know if that even exists in today's world because you can pull vehicles from anywhere um but running three platoons you have so much power and so much opportunity to basically move the map however you want. And Elect, you are doing that right now here in 2022. How much has times changed? Like, what is it like? Are you guys using in-game comms only? Are you using TeamSpeak? Are you guys using Discord? What's the, what's different? Uh, we mainly use in-game comms, and this is mostly to ensure that the newer players have a very easy way to get in contact with their squad leaders and or platoon leaders to make sure that communicating with them is very easy. So one of the reasons we actively we do do we do use uh, Teamspeak and or Discord for our more quote unquote try hardy uh, try hardy ops which we run from time to time, but for our general platoons we just use the in-game comms to make sure that we can easily reach everyone. Because if we were to solely be on Teamspeak or Discord, a lot of the newer plays because we mostly run open platoons, so that also means a lot of people from other outfits or people that have just joined the game. Uh, will join the platoons and then they will have a very hard time figuring out what we are doing, why we are doing things, and using in-game comms ensures that everybody knows what he or she has to do. And then uh, a lot of people hated me back then because I would just come online and then it would just be a Zerg fit basically at that point. Everybody could not stand me because I would just make it to where I would put numbers on a base and it would be game over. Is that same thing happening for you? Um, <clears throat> we can certainly put numbers on the base, um, and yes, we are certainly getting called Zergfit left wire. Left <laughs> yeah, right I was gonna center. say, is that, but, I, I think Zergfit, uh, I think not... Zergfit, and like also skill fits and mid fits, they're all freaking important. They're all needed. I mean, if you if you weren't here, I don't think you would be able to make it exciting for a new player to see seven days a week with that hard of an activity. Congratulations to you guys, man. You guys are basically making a lot of fun over there for sure for these guys. It's a lot of work. Yeah, and I mean, it, oh my God. it might be called a, called a Zerg fit, but it's not really like we care. We just make sure that we are having a lot of fun and that all yeah. the people that are playing in our platoons are having a lot of fun. Yeah. And then, yeah, we, we as I said, we are not up to the level of some of the very skillful outfits. It's but, tough. Uh, we it's... Try, still try to have fun and make sure that the newer players keep interested in the game because the, the platoon play, uh, make, uh, going for alert wins, that's what, in my opinion, is the most interesting about Planetside 2. Salamander is coming. He's like, you are Zergfit. Salamander, we do. <laughs> we're tempting, okay? He's just in the chat. I'm like, wait, he's right here. Don't listen to Salamander. That's he ran funny. notorious Zergfit 95th Zerg Squadron. Oh, yeah. That was that was, that was was a tough oh, one, too. 95th Sausage Stealers. Sausage 95 Stealers. 95 Shotgun Shedders, from what I hear. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> I think that almost just, or uh, uh, was uh, a uh, night for quite some out. time. If you guys don't know the reference where Zerg comes from, Zerg is basically the Zerglings that you see uh, from basically StarCraft 2. And it just basically means a large number of players attacking uh, a small number of players. And a lot of you guys that don't understand that reference, Zerg fits are considered like they're frowned upon because they don't give them the, the satisfaction of that W because they're just going to keep winning. So you call them a Zerg fit. If they suck as a Zerg fit, 
at that point, I don't even know what you're going to be called. So that's going to suck. And hopefully, you guys are winning their fights. But overall, it's intense. The thing um, is, I quickly uh, point one thing out uh, in regards to Zergfit is yeah. that like uh, they basically Zergfits make players like Alec even possible if you think about it. FC so co uh, so can basically only commander. train if yeah. they have to. Yeah, if 100%. they have a platoon. So uh, in, in that sense, uh, it's actually a good thing we have them, right? They, even though they have such a uh, like low reputation. In it, so so this, let me clarify the terminology that I have for Zerg fit. Is a Zerg fit somebody who can run four squads, a one single platoon of 48 people? Would that be considered a Zerg fit in today's population for 2022 Planetside? Or is a Zerg fit when you run more than one platoon? I'd usually consider it by the overall player count. Like, if an outfit starts breaching 1,000 players, then I'd probably consider them a Zerg, personally. Oh, no, technically, you're not a Zerg fit yet. <laughs> well, I mean, some of them have set a pretty <laughs> high level. Like, I think 3 EPG have something to the effect of 14,000 players in their outfit. Yeah, the whole yeah. first they are had something along those lines as well. If you try to Same load the outfit um... browser, it's gonna break. The thing is that one one thing about Zerg fits is as people get more and more used to using command chat and actually communicating, they become less and less of a problem for the community. Because yeah, like we can't match a full platoon or two platoons of our BRN coming on the on the base for numbers. But then we can go and give RSG a shout. We can give PixGP a shout. We can give Arc P and Sefer and everyone else on TR and Flag a shout. And suddenly we can bring in two platoons on our own side because we were able to coordinate between multiple groups rather than just one big one. So it does actually promote using command chat to have these big Zerg fits around the, the brand place. Awesome. And I can't say all Zergs are a bad thing because there are many Zergs who just shoot invites to absolutely everyone and just send people to places without kind of any engagement, no community building, no training. But then there are also Zergs out there who do put in the time, they work together, they coordinate, you have the likes of Reborn. I think the Foundation have been pretty good for as well and it even got them a win in Outfit Wars. So like, not necessarily all Zergs are bad, though personally I do kind of prefer the likes of small fits and mid fits where there's a stronger sense of community. Right. And if I, if I had to say a combination of things, okay. Um, if there is a team of over 100 or 200 or 300 active members, let's say 1,000 that SKL had, goddamn, um, and you don't like them, but they're doing something to make them want to play a planicide. They're keeping 1,000 people excited and they are working together to keep that large ass population having fun in your favorite game. So if you think Zerg fits are bad, without them, I don't think you would have a game. So you would not have those like the, the Zug Zug players who just sit there with heavy assaults basically farming those new players. You know, if they literally did not have somebody training them and teaching them all day and every single day. So there's a give and take between it. Yeah, it sucks when you're basically sitting there farming all day and then the forty eight freaking squad jumps on you and you say you just lost your farm. But this, there's a give and take to it. So I can't really tell you to like them or not, but they're needed and everyone's needed. I mean, we need the tryhards to represent Planetside 2 at the highest skill level. And we also need those new players to continue getting farmed by the best players. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, uh, let's go to RE4, the Reapers. Are you ready? Uh, yep. Hello. What's up, Fallen God? How you doing, my dude? The council is the current leader. Let's learn about Fallen God's perspective. What yeah, uh, is your perspective? Uh, now that you mentioned it, we are the only democratic outfit here on uh, <laughs> the server because uh, we got a leadership council composed of uh, multiple peoples and not just uh, one leader. Oh, it's called the council. It's not a person's name, the council. Yes. Hey, yo, you're the first person to have a name like that. Okay, so tell me who's, the, who's in the council. Uh, like, I'm definitely not in it. Oh, <laughs> So, Falling God, tell me more about your position then. Uh, I'm just a leader. I usually run ops and uh, basically uh, keep uh, things organized or help in administration. Then who's and your, your council then? Is, uh, for example, Striking Spliff, who was uh, out for some time and uh, didn't really want to join for some reason. He says it's a secret. Hello, it's in the chat right now. That's son of a Get your ass over here. All right, continue. Who yeah. else is in the council? Call them all out. I want them to basically feel the pain. Yeah, but yeah. it's a, a really multiple people, like uh, I think six or seven. Six or seven on the wrong. council? Yeah, uh, because we are a very old outfit and we experienced uh, that uh, putting all pressure on one person can just lead to burnout. So we just uh, divide all this uh, actual work, which is related to keeping an outfit organized, 
and active uh, separated to multiple people and everybody can just do their one small part uh, which they want to do and like to do so mm -hmm. that uh, we can keep people interested and active uh, much better and easier. I think you have found the solution after nine years of being in this game, not basically having a single person being an ego uh, holding leadership type of individual that says, I need all the credit. You guys turned it into a council. And so yeah. the council has about six or seven people that are leaders and each of them have some sort of level of leadership and you all respect each other. I'm assuming that allows you all to yes. have a good time and you schedule out events. Let's say, imagine I'm council, basically Bob, and I'm going to say, Monday, I'm going to make my events happen. You guys respect that. I basically make Monday events happen. So that way I can actually do one day a week events and I can join your event on Tuesday and vice versa, Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. And if it comes down to a leadership question when it comes to Alpha Wars or something like that, the council gets together and they choose their selected 50 or 48 people for the war. Yeah, so something uh, very similar or something like that. Very cool, man. You guys are very smart. Keep on, keep on evolving your company, uh, I mean, outfit. Um, yeah, and now that we are, uh, sorry to interrupt that, now that we are talking about our age, uh, actually, I think uh, I thought that we are the second oldest outfit on the server, but uh, that's maybe not true. And uh, maybe we are just the third oldest outfit. So the RE3 is uh, coming for that. Uh, we can be called RE3 as maybe the third oldest outfit. Wait a second. So what, what, there's an RE3 and an RE4? Uh, RE3 is our VS outfit, <laughs> just for the jokes. So RE3 was the original um, company, you're saying? I mean, no, 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 no. Uh, our, uh, Reapers with the four were the original nine-year-old outfit, uh, but uh, I thought that it's the uh, second oldest outfit uh, on the server after Trident, who Ooh. are still guys uh, in the pipe. Yes. And uh, coming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they, they are older than us. That's I'll awesome. be honest, there were a fair few outfits who claimed in the, the questionnaire to be the oldest outfit. So I was very vague about all of it and didn't challenge any of their claims or confirm any of their claims, because I don't think well, anyone really knows. All yeah. I'm saying, Astral Dynasty went through a bunch of dates, and RSG <laughs> were there as the oldest. That. <laughs> it's a, it's a tough can, situation. Uh, maybe the only way... to some a little bit yeah, to, uh, to we, that, we because I was one of the first officers in Re uh, Reapers, uh, actually back in 2013 so they might actually be one of like the one of actually the oldest outfits like literally on on cobalt That's they awesome. were my first outfit uh, in back in 13, 2013 would you be considered the oldest if the leadership is still there but if the name is still there and nobody in the same leadership is there would they still be considered oldest like just because as long as the name survives right yep okay i just want to make sure uh, like, what is that I, if, we still got a uh, very old uh, outfit lead uh, like Felix the Lion, who and also people who, sure. who are in the outfit since the beginning. Awesome. Like Tovarsi. I would say, like, if you want to have that like, level of competition to find out who really is the oldest, if the leadership still exists and that person's still there and the other leadership is not there and the name's still there, I'd say the person who's physically there is now considered like the, the elder at that point. <laughs> so it's awesome. But it's, a, it's really sick. You guys are going to be able to rewatch this event and 24 hours from now, we'll give you an opportunity to check out that VOD. We're going to either post it on YouTube. Or we're going to be posting it here on Twitch. Uh, I'll have to review the VOD and just confirm everything's good to go. And then I'll post it right back up. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and basically the next one. RE4, the Reapers. Uh, you helped me learn more about the council. And if I want to join you guys, uh, do I have to basically message one of the council or just basically sign up and I'm a part of you guys? Uh, you have to use our uh, web page, our forum, which what is, is quite forum? unique too. <laughs> it's uh, reapers.com. Reapers.com with a four. You guys heard it right here. Reapers.com with a four. And if I actually came in the game right now, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm falling. God, just got screwed. Uh, give me one second. I tried to link it. Uh, My bad. Let me let me take simple. your let me take your link, and I'll post it. Um, this is Reapers with a four. I'm just gonna permit you so you can actually do it. If I actually post it, and somebody says, Archie, you sent me to a somewhere. I was like, I didn't send it. <laughs> you sent it. Um, Reaper, go ahead, Fallen God. You can actually do it now. What's up, uh, Trek? I'm banned you. from your chat. No, no, for ten seconds. You're back now. I think. Uh, nah. Are you back? Nope. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, no. Hold on. You should be back. It's 10 seconds total time. Uh, you are an unblock. Isn't it 30? It says 10 on my screen. All right. I, I permitted you right now, Fallen God. You can't type anymore, you're saying? Ah, uh, people know us anyway. So. Okay, no problem. It's basically going to be this link right here, guys. I'll just basically post it myself. Thank you. Right here. Thank you so much. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and basically do the next. The Reapers, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Fallen God, for that representation. Do you want to add anything to that, Chris Torio, before I move on? 
uh, reapers are mostly focused on uh, combined ops operations, so I think there is a space for everyone willing to cooperate. Awesome. And uh, English is your main language? I'm looking forward no. to seeing you again. No, it's not. It, uh, it's multi lang. <laughs> There is a lot of uh, yeah. Mo we communicate in English uh, primarily, but uh, uh, people are from all over the world. That's awesome. That's really, really mainly cool. from Europe, Hell because yeah. the lowest speak. That's true, actually. That's total sense. You guys will be speaking many languages at that point, but English is the most common. Very cool. Yeah. Thank you so much, Reapers, man. I've always basically seen you guys out there as well. It's freaking epic to see you guys. Are you guys excited? I mean, I'm bringing it up right now. Are you guys excited for Alpha Wars one v ones? No. Yes. <laughs> I like how somebody's like, no. <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to see what the hell's going to happen this time. It's going to be 1v1 makeup. It's going to be, I don't know, the numbers of players are going to be attacking on these bases. They're going to probably change the entire dynamic of what it was in a three way battle into a 1v1 dynamic. Are she? Yes. Uh, if the map they say the Nexus didn't change much, I, as a builder, Primarily, this is my specialization in uh, Reapers. Yeah. It uh, doesn't uh, make me very optimistic about uh, Outfit Wars. Got it. Would you want the ceiling to be shorter so that way you can kill this guy? Uh, no, no, not about that. I mean, the co co you can use you can, your uh, use of tools is uh, limited in that map. Because uh, construction is uh, all about fortification of the point. But when there is a fortification built already, what's the point of fortification? Oh, got it. Because you say the massive circle fortification is already fortification on the point. Why would you build then, a random base in the middle of nowhere on the ABCs? Yeah. Desolation was so nice because it was just uh, empty space. Yeah. A lot of empty space and you could build around it. Yes. And uh, build uh, that uh, cover for yourself. But when you have hills, trees, uh, rocks, and those uh, pre-existing prefab buildings, that makes it uh, limited. And I really hope that they will not uh, limit even uh, the use of uh, the artillery modules like uh, the glaive or IPC because that uh, just kills the construction. Got it. So you want everything in construction to be available in Alpha Wars? Yes, be because th that just makes it interesting. It was built for the purpose, right? I did. I yeah. I just shot that someone's wife got stolen in the one v one v one format. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, that made me laugh. <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what it turns into. One, I think it will be one v one. One v one. Okay, the capture points, okay, but uh, I really hope that there will be space for every kind of uh, the tools to be used. Got it, and uh, I didn't get a chance to actually play, I shoutcast today. I was watching it the majority of the time, so I didn't know all of the uh, construction uh, bans. I didn't know what was banned. What was banned being a construction user in Alpha Wars? Did you, what was not able to no, be made? Outfit, outfit Wars uh, was uh, f free. You could use everything and that's, uh, that's why I had uh, fun with it. Got it. So but, you're uh, saying right now the existing the Alpha Wars was great, but I you're mean, saying, uh, you're saying I mean that they're about the tactical viability. Got it. I uh, see, uh, actually, just to clarify, I believe the new map, Nexus, I think it's a lot more urban, and thus there's far less open space. Thus, ah. there's less places to actually okay, so I don't know about the new one. So I was just trying to think that it's, it's going to be another version of that, but smaller. But it's actually going to be a different map yeah, setting. Yeah, it's a different kind of terrain yeah. style. Yeah, and, uh, I didn't and, uh, know that. choke points for the armor. That too you guys have seen this. Severely limited. You guys have seen this? Yeah. The terrain Nexus and everything? Is a very old, uh, it's a very old map that has existed in the files for like years. So, okay, years I clearly have no idea. I thought we were seeing another oh, Desolation 1v1. Okay, let's go check it out, guys. One second. Um, this... It's a map from 2013. Does someone have it's to trade it? Yes. And that's yeah. why I hope uh, that uh, map will be uh, updated for the that's, needs that's, of the outfit wars. That's basically the map. And if it's like on, on, the, on the live server or like on any kind of uh, continent, you will have the red circles around the base that prevents you from placing any, any kind of construction. And oh. to be honest, I'm kind of worried about it as well. It's going to take a little like the 
one part out of the game that this is gonna need. this is gonna That's really it, this is gonna put people in lanes it's almost gonna be like you're watching league of legends where you just never see your teammate in the top lane or south lane and then you got junglers <laughs> so it's like yeah you, this is a lane based format um, the thing though is that the whole construction thing is quite contentious because while it will rub some the wrong way I think there are a lot of other outfits who would probably be happy about the em the emphasis of construction myself being a part of one mm. so it's a hard one to appease everyone on yeah yeah but there are tools to quickly dismantle bases true I was thinking, I was thinking I just thinking that uh, I could see your your comments because I clearly was lost I was like how are you gonna have a problem? With desolation, I'm like that's the definition of construction, and then now I realized you have a different map yeah. you're going to be playing. My uh, that's where I was lost a little bit. I was waiting till you finished so I can actually clarify. Thank you for clarifying, guys, with that because that makes total sense, and I can see where the construction team is going to be having a problem because I don't see where the hell can you build on that map. There's no building space and from my my perspective, looking at the top view. Um, All I can see is maybe the two side approaches to the middle point, and they would make for a fairly strong construction stronghold. But if you want construction to be a core part of the format, I agree with you that it's yeah. not a uh, offering a lot of opportunity. No. One quick thing I have to say is obviously the no, um, the no construction zones are placed manually in their editor. So mm. you can just not place the uh, no construction zones, uh, uh, circles or cubes, uh, probably, uh, are they like. No, it makes no um, sense. Let me just let the chat know. Exclamation mark join right now for your opportunity to win another bundle. We're about to give away another Quartermasters bundle um, right now. The Quartermasters bundle is available for you guys. It's the ninth anniversary bunner bundle, and we're giving away one more. You guys have less than 30 seconds to type exclamation mark join. Regardless if you win multiple times, we're still going to give it away to you guys. With this insane amount of people that are typing join, and you guys are watching the live stream, you can win multiple times. Yes, luck is a factor, and yes, I, I would be shocked to see two wins in a row. But in general, 15 seconds remaining. Good luck to you guys on that win. Make sure you tell your entire companies, all your outfits, that this is an opportunity to win some free in-game loot. On the great one is taking the W. Congratulations to you, the great one. That's what I'm talking. Really? Another Dior, easy. What? That is not possible. <laughs> yeah. No. That's actually actually yeah. fixed. Yeah, yeah, it's so rigged. This is this is rigged. Oh. This is yeah, super rigged. Rick. This is my stream. What the f Okay, seriously, I did not make this is super rigged. Everybody type rigged in the chat. This is ridiculous. This um, is how he pays them off for that time in the other Cobalt Clash where they carried him along in a platoon. Yeah. This is super rigged. I mean, I'm just gonna let you guys basically type it right here. Look at this. Don't know what you're talking about. Dior is <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Disgusting. I'm just kidding. Uh, let me go ahead and basically get uh, that winner right here. Let me send him a DM. Where is that winner? And it looks like right there it was doo -doo -doo, the great one. Got you. I'm going to send you a DM right now. You're getting a whisper from me. Congrats, man. And there's your, co there's your code. I just want to make sure I do that right so I don't basically leak any DMs. We're switching back the screen. Fully being ready to not screw this up anymore. Being a streamer after two years. Jesus Christ. Um, all right, so let's go get a chance to see RSG1. RSG1, are you here? Of course, I'm right, right here. I've actually been here since the beginning. That's what I'm talking about, Valkyrie Sky. Tell me more about Victor Marks, your leadership, and yourself and your position. Well, if you want to know about Victor Marks, be known that he's quite the figure on Cobalt. He's a very strange sa man from the Seychelles who decided to start an outfit with the wrong number at the uh, pretty much the outset <laughs> of Planet Side. We are... Yet another uh, one of the outfits claimed to be the eldest out active outfit on Cobalt. And I would describe us as essentially a... Uh, we're the retirement home of players who've been playing for far too long. We exercise what I'd call organized chaos. And we play to win, but we don't let that kind of ruin our atmosphere. I like it. We, uh, we trust all our members know what they're doing. We don't need to micromanage every move. We just... Victor yells out, take this base take this approach everything else flies along with it and of course we also have uh, contacts with jaeger because we're very closely tied with the jaeger team's cbt cobalt terrans doesn't stand for anything else i like it so do you guys actually train your members when you say take this base does that mean like hey that's code for like i want you to ninja in the back with light assaults i want you or you just trust that everybody's done their training and then you just apply it to that base as i said uh we are because we're kind of the 
We're the retirement home of salty old vets, so we're kind of a better fit for people who've been playing the game for a long time. Retirement we are not. <laughs> we're we're not the best trainers. We, of course, have plenty of wisdom and advice to offer people, but uh, again, for a brand newbie, we can be not the ideal <laughs> people to join with. Oh, man. Um, okay, so what kind of noob would you be okay with it? I mean, if they can stick with the, the mayhem that is our team speak and uh, keep up with the pace we move at, because we're a very rapidly moving infantry outfit who are constantly jumping base to base, dropping, dropping. They're playing uh, uh, redeploy side, guys. That's it. Just make sure that U button has like a big red sticker on it, and every minute, just click that button again. It doesn't even matter where you're at. Just touch it, and you'll follow Exactly. Them. So, like, click it again, as I said, camera. salty veterans or players who enjoy a very rapid pace going from combat straight to the thick of the next combat, those are kind of the players we would appeal to. Do not, and Nick Dark, don't go to this outfit for first time players. Not understood. Just stop. Dark Devils, you sick. She's like, understood. New players to this outfit. Fantastic. And, uh, of course, uh, I think we're quite a well-known outfit around Cobalt. We are uh, quite the rambunctious bunch. And uh, if uh, chat could join me, uh, can we get an RSG? Oh, exactly, because it wants to see how many RSGs are in the chat right now. Feel free to spam that, RSG members. Show me who the hell represents or knows them. Type RSG if you guys know them, guys. Show that respect. Some oh, trust me, it's far more than the members. Whenever RSG caps a base, when everyone starts chanting, you'll have about about every faction on that base start chanting it as well. What? How does that happen? It's Why? Perfect. Oh man, I may remember that. Not exactly that. true, but we will we will um, slightly embarrass RSG by shouting RSG <sighs> if we're also capping a base with them. Because we don't actually yeah. shout anything when we cap bases, so we just borrow theirs. <laughs> so this is very similar to another, another community I'm a part of that uh, they would just shout that person's name every time they take a base regardless that they're in the game or not. This is awesome, dude. <laughs> RSG, man, here to represent. Thanks for putting this uh, this amazing amount of effort for Cobalt Smash here tonight. Yeah, uh, here's to another 10 years, right, Victor? You just heard that. Victor Matt, is right now ult f 4 his client right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> another 10 years. He's like, Planet Side 2 is not a game, it's an addiction. Oh, 100%. That's what I'm talking about. That man about. is the uh, greatest proof. Hell yes. Thank you so much. Let's go to Seraph right now. S E F R section Francophone. I uh, think we've got them in here, do we? Nope. No, I don't I, believe I, no. I, I will do this one as well because um, they are good friends of mine. All right. We've done Outfit Wars together. We do regular platoons together every Wednesday, and they were in our platoon today. Um, and the French are insane. Like, T TCT, Section Francophone, they're mad, they're aggressive, they're very highly skilled. And a lot of their members have got that same, um, well, some of their members have got that same uh, CBT experience as RSG. Um, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but one thing I can come back into is, oh, on the, uh, I think it was a Charity Clash uh, Bastion Smash that we had, where the French brought their outfits. Sorry, I always refer to them as the French, but they aren't the only French outfit. Um, and we were, we were, um, telling them to fall back from the enemy bastion coming towards them because they're on low health. And they said, sure, doing it, and then turned around and just charged the enemy bastion. Um, again, it's, it's just absolutely their attitude. They will charge into the weirdest, worst possible scenario and give it their absolute all every single time. Um, they are one of the largest and more try-hard French-speaking outfits on the server and absolute pleasure to play with every single time. That's what I'm talking about right here, representing TCT, the leader. Section Frank and Phone. Damn. I saw you guys basically in so many different Repo. positions, you have no idea. Not bad. What? Repo? Repo is taking what? that W. Congratulations to you. Repo. Oh my. All, all of the aircraft. <laughs> all yeah. the aircraft? Well, about, what? At least it's They're air to grounding this stream, dude. What the fuck is happening? Finally, Stop a a new... in that stream. Re Repo, please use a different camo than your old <laughs> black camo. Repo right now has gotten that you, W, ladies and gentlemen. One. Repo with the Let me see if I can find Repo in the Twitch chat. Repo is now there. We're going to go and send him a message and give him this W here. Congratulations to you, buddy. Um, it's let's too go easy ahead. to find. That's the reason why. Uh, doo -doo -doo. What combo does he run again? It's it's the black camo on this liberator with the same... Oh, like default, like always. It, yeah. Oh my Repo, goodness. I sent you a DM right now. Congratulations to you. 
you've gotten that W. Every single time we switch to another screen, I'm going to try to give away all these codes here, as well as on Twitter and Instagram, guys. Make sure you guys are following those uh, social media accounts or else you can get a free one if you have those socials. If you don't, you're getting it right here on Twitter. So that means you have, I mean, Twitch. So you have an opportunity to win it here or you have a chance to win it on Twitter for retweeting and liking and following Planetside 2. These are the ones that gave us these codes. So I want to basically also say a huge thank you to Rel for opening up this entire monumental event, making that Amherst open up on time for all of you guys. That was awesome because I was obviously on Miller and I made a mistake and he also helped me to go to the red server. That was embarrassing. Um, all right, let's go to TDKD here. The drunken dogs. Is there a TDKD member here to represent? Yeah, yeah, I'm hit. Path and Cactus, it's good to see you, my dude. Tell me more about your leader, Hercules. Is it Hercules? So, uh... He uh, he conveniently spelled his name wrong, so it's Hercules. Uh, Hercules, uh, awesome, <laughs> or, awesome. But it's uh, Heckles, because uh, <laughs> he, he cannot spell when he uh, first made it. I was going to say, um, I'm assuming it could be Heckles or it could be Hercules, it could be whatever. But let's no, go we, we, we'll call him Hercules, but yeah, it's a <laughs> lo lovely chap. But uh, no, he, he, he would love to be here, but unfortunately he is currently serving beer in a pub, so he oh, missed yeah. the whole uh, whole shebang. No, no, of course, no problem. And then uh, tell me more about your leadership. What does he do for your uh, for your outfit as well as... What is your position and tell me more about you guys. So he's the obviously the leader. Um, I'm actually like a co-leader with him. So I'm considered to be at, some, at the same level. Uh, we, we run out with uh, six other people to uh, make up like a, a council of, of captains. Um, it's, it's not the same as Reapers. We don't vote the council in. You're sort of handpicked and put in by the rest of us who already exist there. Um, and yeah, like uh, we we try and do what's best for uh, for our outfit, and um, which generally was doing the role Reborn did before DFLP had more time on his hands to steal all of our members. Um, <laughs> but uh, we, we we used to do a similar thing where we'd go and run public platoons. That's how we got most of our members. Um, and then uh, now we, we we mostly do some more like specialized stuff. So we have people who play with BJ. Uh, doing the similar sort of hardcore stuff, and then I run armor stuff. So tonight I had a crack in time just driving around in tanks all night. Oh, yeah. Um, we have some other people who play with NMA and play uh, doing like gal drops. And, uh, sorry, uh, not gal drops, they're like uh, effectively pretending you're a bomber in World War Two with a galaxy. Um, so, uh, yeah, we, we, we do all sorts of things and generally pretty casual about it. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, guys. You just saw right now the drunken dogs. We saw TDKD put their efforts in. I literally saw you guys at so many goddamn bases. Are you guys like a redeploy outfit? What's going on? I also saw you guys galaxy gunships. So we we have we, we, we do like a, a different thing. So like the we've like tonight we had people in QRF with BJ. So they are very redeploy. That's they what I was constantly saying. I literally saw you guys everywhere. I was like, what the hell's going on with you guys, man? It's like another team's over yeah, there. TDK, so TDK, TDK, TDK. I'm like, what the hell's in the sh BJ. Shout out to the, the squad leader ticks out on that one. Our, our lovely French uh, French squad leader um, who is gets his accent gets so strong when he gets like hyped up that it's actually crazy to try and understand him but he's great <laughs> hey man that's what i'm talking about and uh let me learn more about you that is basically giving that information uh how long have you been playing planet side for para i've been playing for about two years now so i joined about two months after the pandemic started yeah the, 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 the times we don't talk about you um, just <laughs> joined planet side the two years is pretty no, no, early, so, so, in my opinion. <laughs> so, so, so like, just, no, 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 no. Just, just before the, the pandemic kicked in, that's when I joined. So. Yeah, and then you had no idea what Planet Side was before. Like, nothing of the franchise, I no Planet Side 1. I played maybe three hours before then. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Did it, did it, like, what caught your attention uh, right when you played? Because everyone I know uh, on Planet Side are, like, nine years old. We're, like, freaking all boomers right now at the moment. I'm just kidding. Uh, I used to play EVE Online, so it was a complete, like, I don't want to do this anymore. This is uh, hard. So <laughs> I was like, oh, first-person shooter instead, and somehow ended up in a leadership position again. Ah! <laughs> it's, it's, it typically happens the majority of the people that have good opinions. Great job. Keep up the good work, man. And uh, new players are basically welcome. Everybody basically can come in and basically be part of TDKD. Yeah, you, you can come in. You don't even have to join the Discord, although we prefer it when you do. So we will give all, like, when we run our open nights, we'll give all the orders in-game. Um, when we run our sort of more, like, when I run just armor, for example, we give the orders in the Discord, but I usually open the squad up, and if someone joins, we'll just throw Discord links out like it's candy. I love it. Well, uh, you've, are you level 40 right now? 
Level 40? Yeah, it says uh, a level 40 platoon leading. I'm just curious. <laughs> level, uh, <laughs> I have, uh, no, definitely not. Okay, I was At just making sure. I'm a, I'm a solid sort of like, uh, you know, maybe just happened to, to try platoon leading and then was like, no, hate this, do squad leading instead. Got it. I was just saying, like, oh, he's a level 80, 70. Okay, good. I was just making sure, like, how the hell are you level 40? Playing this game for two years, did you, like, uh, like, you know how you go to 100 and respec or whatever it is, it makes you go back to level 1? That makes more 92, sense. 92. Level 92. There it is. And uh, I still get ridiculed for it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, plus I have a squad leading and everything like that. You don't, get, you don't get points for that damn thing. You sit there all day telling people what to do and... Oh, uh, my KD is is 0.28. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was going to say, don't even look at this KD. Any squad leader, platoon leader, or force commander are doing so much goddamn work that it's almost like you're nerfing yourself. If you see a streamer that is talking and playing, they're nerfing themselves in the game because they are trying to think of the topic and they lost the idea of that player who just flanked them. And so it's just, it's tough. Uh, you just almost get like a nerf attached to you when you play, play those positions. But without those positions, we would not be successful. So thank you to all of you guys who organize all your events. Do you have a higher KD? You have zero point five. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, zero point five KD. Sorry, it's gone there down recently. Go. Clarifying it because of <laughs> this global clash, he's going in there and basically clapped all those cheeks. That's what I'm talking about. The NC did some work today. He got his KD higher thanks to this event. Just kidding, maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's go to TFN. This evening, this this evening he also went battle rank ninety three. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I completely missed that one. You did. Congrats, oh my, my god. Dude. Congrats, Congratulations. Dude. That's what I'm saying, dude. We need more of these events. Uh, basically, I'm, I'm here to basically showcase you guys in Cobalt Clash. I played last time. My internet went out. And uh, Jesus, I had a player named I Smell Ar an Archie. And uh, I literally just constantly kept like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him at every single base. This is crazy. Play on the side is so much fun. And even if you went solo, it's so much fun. If you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing... I heard they made a tutorial, uh, and that tutorial does a really good job of helping players at least understand what the hell you're doing in this game. Uh, can anybody vouch for me on the tutorial? Like, did they do a good job? Yes, the perfect job. Perfect job. Wow. Never, do never done it better. Really? Perfect. Ten out of ten. It's actually, it's uh, actually good. Yeah. You whoa! Should, yeah, it's actually play. good. Yeah. Bro, I'm talking they... to the most try-hard people on this channel that traditionally destroy their own game and talk massive crap. You guys are saying perfect. Yeah, they added NPC actors and kind of actual combat simulation to an yeah. to an effect. Holy crap, dude! That's that, that's that, that's major praise. I'm hearing that right now towards the mm -hmm. towards the development staff. That's unbelievable. As I said, the devs have done so much lately. They've kind of brought a new life to the game. Hell yeah! It's definitely so true, yeah. Dude, I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna go do the tutorial just so I could get a sense of it. I did see it back in the day. Uh, I saw like um, Kamikaze or Commander Series doing it on their stream. But I didn't get a chance to personally do it myself. I think Moff Gray also did as well. But I got to go back and check it out. But I, I know how to play the game in, in and out. I just don't know the terminologies. And just, of course, there's going to be mistakes happening over and over again. Or I might get constantly nuked by you guys while I'm playing. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, TFDN, the foundation's next. A flying tofu. Do we have a TFDN member here? They do not. Uh, no, unfortunately not. Though I do have to give a shout out. Homie, the person who helped us organize all of this on the Vanu side, is a TFDN member. Dude, so homie. Shout out to him on that. That's what I'm talking about. Homie. Nice job. I'm proud of you guys. We're going to give um, two codes right now, back to back, to Salamander as well as um, Valkyries, guys. I just want you guys to all personally know that. Do they deserve it, guys? Can I get everybody go ahead and type in right now for the first one? Skies or Valkyrie Skies? You want to type the whole thing, guys? Did, did this, Was this fun for you guys? Do you guys want to see more of this? Like, give some love to your organizers right Next now. Spam the chat. Do you guys want me to go ahead and basically give Skies? Just go ahead and type Skies in the chat if you guys loved what you saw in Cobalt Clash. And we're just going to go ahead and basically give him a code as well, dude. Just type in Skies, and that shows some love to these organizers. And I don't know how else can basically do it better than that, man. Skies is right now spamming that chat right here, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fellas, come on, he's going to at least spell it right. It's in the username. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if I can. I'm, I'm too drunk for that. I'm too drunk for that. Right. <laughs> this guy. I'm halfway through a bottle of Dark Rome, so not much the same. Yeah, Skies. I'll have to open the moment we finished. I appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. You I wait until after you. the event, yeah, Sal? <laughs> but Wait, apparently uh, every every planted gamer is suddenly also a drinker. Yeah, that's so true actually. <laughs> I mean Homie, we're all like 30, of course we are. 
Valkyrie oh, skies. The only thing drunk and dogs exists, you see. You both bought better way to play than when drunk. <laughs> Do you remember that was that one time that someone put a... I don't know if it was a troll or an actual where they were raging about the prevalence of drunk squads in Planet Side 2 communities? Oh, <laughs> on, yeah, the, on the Reddit. I remember that. Yeah, that was so mm. strange. At the same time, I also want to get a chance to do this. I'm getting a little bit better at this whole streaming thing. And I finally got something to get the offer back to these amazing measures, amazing people. We just gave Skies the code. Skies, I hope you basically enjoy it uh, and use it and basically represent and flex. Um, at the same time, the Salamander from the previous Cobalt Clash and the previous to that Cobalt Clash, always keeping me in the loop. Appreciate you, my brother. Can I get a huge shout out for the Salamander in the chat as well, guys? Spam that chat. I just want to basically see his name plastered over there. If you guys basically think he's doing a great job of supporting you guys on Cobalt and making Cobalt Clash as successful as it is today. I just want to basically make a big shout out over this man. Salamander across the board, guys. Copy and pasta his name all Cheers. the way across if you guys want to see him. Also get a code here tonight. Thank you very much, Arshi. No, 100%. It's much appreciated. No, much and, appreciated uh, yeah, for you guys too. This event was a massive amount of fun to play in for me, but more impo importantly, I hope it was just as fun for everyone else as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because ultimately, that's what it comes down to. You know, it's like, it's a lot of fun to win. It feels great. But again, my concern above all else is that everyone involved has fun. And they feel like they got to participate as a part of the community. 100%. 100%. I hopefully did not make any mistakes here. Hopefully they didn't leak the code. <laughs> so no, sure. The only, sure it's a the only to question, Sullivan, uh, when, when is the next one? Hey, yo. Well, now that Chive and Valkyrie did almost all of it on their own this time, I think I can take the training wheels off and they can just do the whole thing from now on. Chive? Oh, God. Chive and who? Chive and Valkyrie Skies. <laughs> Chive did it too as well? So, yeah, Chive did a load. I did I not know Chive did a load. As well. Where, can I get you guys to do me a favor? Can you guys type in Chive across the board right now? If you guys think Chive also deserves it, if he's actually a representative on Cobalt, type Chive. If I see Chai basically across the entire screen right now, we're going to give Chai also a code. I want to know. Did Chai I mean, actually represent? If you represent... have one to spare, could we have one to toss to homie as well? Because okay. that would be all four of us. Fantastic. I'm going to yeah, give you that spare one. Well. We're going to do that right now. Call me, Chai. Thank you guys so much for basically showcasing that right now. Chai, you're across the screen right now. The, the freaking community loves you. You're seeing that right now. Chai, big heart goes out to you. I just personally didn't get a DM from you, so all I know is the two people that have been keeping in contact with me for the past couple weeks and months is these two individuals <laughs> right here. So thank you guys for actually shouting out Chive. I personally would have missed it, and thanks to Sakurai Skies and Salamander for bringing them up. Love you guys. Hey, look, Mom, I'm on TV. Hey, Mom. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> all right, let's get Call Me Chive. This is the code you want to basically give him right here. Uh, let me see if I can DM him personally. Call Me Chive. He's here in the voice chat with us. Oh, he's here? He Chive, you... Yes. Yeah, where are you? He's been talking the whole time. Where? He's been here since, like, the start. I, I did hear, but where is he? Chive. No, oh, is he gone? He's, he's gone. Yeah, I knew he was gone. He's, he's gone. Yeah, I was going to say oh, he's not here. Recently. I was going to say. I didn't see him in the chat. I was like, Chive's not here. Okay, so that's it. Well, yeah. If you want to send it to me, I can send them on to him. No, I sent him a DM directly and, to him. Oh, Grant. All right, and then who was the other uh, in individual? A homie, but I don't believe he was able to make it. No problem. Homie. Is he in our Discord? So do me a favor, homie. can you tell homie, I'm going to keep this spot right now, um, homie's code, message Arshi. Awesome. I'm just going to go ahead and basically sub, have homie DM yeah. me. DM me if you can homie's full Discord name as well as his in-game name so I can basically verify it with him. I will do that now for you. I appreciate it. And homie, you now have a code from me and if you can actually remind homie to DM me, that'd be awesome. He is in the chat, Chai. Uh, I can see you call me Chive in the chat. I can see you already. I just got you. Copy. Thank you for the shout out. Big heart goes out to you guys. Okay, I sent uh, Homie's Discord to you. Awesome. Thank you. And just tell Homie to personally to send me a DM if he wants a code. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, we're going to go to the next one, the Foundation TFTN. I think we just talked about them. We're going to go next, correct? We did, right? Oh, uh, yes. I hope we did. We didn't have. They, they, they claim to be 10 years. They're older. But TFTN is. Yeah, yeah, he just, just spoke. He just <laughs> left, right? No, uh, we didn't have anyone from. Uh, okay, so I didn't it. read it. Okay, I was about to leave this, and I was gonna say, no, I'm no, pretty sorry. sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure nobody basically spoke about it. I don't want to basically skip somebody. All right, Flying Tofu was basically the leader right here with active 232 f members. Guys, that's insane. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that's really good. Uh, active is 10 years. TFDN is representing one of the largest and oldest outfits here. Uh, not larger, of course, than the previous NC outfit we just saw. 
uh, four days active active a week, and as well as multi gaming. One of the largest outfits on the list, of course. Thank you. This, the text is right up there for me. Uh, the foundation is willing to take anyone who can follow orders. While they have a wide variety of players within the outfit, 10 years of existence has left them a core of veterans, which from new players can learn from. And I'm not joking, guys. These veterans can power level you in half a second. Join these f companies. Do not play solo. Join an outfit, and they will literally, like, they will even watch your screen and tell you how to be a better player in half a second. You go into Planetside on your own, there is a tutorial. You can play this game solo. You can figure it out on your own. And that's something fun like you did in Minecraft. But if you want to grow exponentially, we're talking about like like a 1 to 10 ratio. It's a 10 out of 10 if you join one of these companies. Um, I think above all else, Planetside is a community game. And honestly, being part of a community elevates it above what it is yeah. by so much. Like I know a lot of people say, oh, any game is fun with friends, but like you don't really get the true planet side experience unless you're working together with a squad of friends because it just opens up a whole new world of gameplay 100 percent. it's good to see you another creator here right now tonight no torico torico love love you my dude we're talking about planet side too this is a massive multiplayer game first person shooter i shout casted for this community for two years straight uh and there was just epic events happening over and over and over again until alpha wars hit it caused a massive burnout for the entire community um uh, and uh, and that's where basically things went south for me. Basically, I saw us like showcasing because everybody wanted to take a break. There's really nothing I could basically do after <laughs> the Alpha Wars. But hopefully, the Alpha Wars one v one format will make it less intense, make it to where they can enjoy it daily or weekly, however they want to design it. And it's not just some extremely heavy uh, amount of drama because the two v one happens at every single stage or people are basically quitting. And so. That was really epic. I can't wait to see what they create because Alpha Wars is really important. I really think it will make the game even more exciting for players to try hard while they can still enjoy the live server and go to Jaeger to get their fix. Um, but some people might not like it, so you don't need to sign up. Don't worry. Events are one of the following characteristics of the foundation. They have a notable high participation rate in such things, and they are also noted for having won the last series of Alpha Wars on Cobalt server. Congratulations to you, TFDN. Uh, in the Cobalt Clash, TFDN are traditionally provided one of the major blocks of the Vanu forces, providing a significant force to any Vanu operation. Congratulations to you guys, as well as keep up the good work. Let's go to TPDV, the Phantom Devious. Do we have a TPDV members here to represent? I think we had two Hello. last I saw. That's all I'm about to say. I want them to say uh. what up. There we go. Legendary X Flux and Nox Vaughn Nightmare here tonight. Let's go ahead and go to Legendary X Flux, the leader, to help me more understand. What is TPDV all about? Well, I am I'm pretty happy to say that whoever put it together, this text that we see on the stream right now, is very accurate <laughs> about us. Aww. Salamander like, uh, did a great job, man. It's I don't know how guy. much better I could say who, who we are. Uh, me and one of my members uh, sit, sat down together to write this message together that we sent into the person and uh, we tried to be as accurate as possible about who we are it was pretty tough uh, I don't know if I should read it or try to briefly say who we are or just uh, can, tell the can, people to read the it. screen you can do it however you want you can give me a brief explanation about who you are people can read this while you're talking give me your perspective of what you want people to learn more about TPDV mm -hmm. Your, uh, your example, if you're going to basically recruit Arshi TV into your company, why should I join you? Why, what have you done in this game for the last two years? And You know why you actually, you should join me? You know why? Let me because tell you. you know me and you love me. I that's do right. love you, bro. That's what I'm talking about, <laughs> Xbox. I just wanted, that's not fair for the new person. I don't know if you remember <laughs> me from the times, but... I do I, next I know Xbox, for sure. Me. I know that you love me, bro, 100%. Tell me more about why should people join you guys uh, over the rest. Give me some of that, the flex. Give me some so, of that excitement. Um, I'm probably going to be cringe for sure. No, so I'm sorry not at for all. that one. Dude, we had Rias Grigory <laughs> over in the in anime. That was I mean, that's Rias Grigory, I <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Continue. Yeah, oh, not going to no. lie. Weebs forever. Oh, no, I, I, uh, I'm yeah. a weeb, 100%. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I have a bigger this weeb than you guys could ever imagine. No, I'm a huge weeb, guys. Don't even imagine. Everything on Crunchyroll I've watched. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Holy moly, that's yeah, many. That's a lot. That's, that's okay, more yeah. than you guys well, can ever um, imagine. 
Why should people join us? Um, I'm gonna point out, someone may think it different or someone not. I I think I can honestly say that we are definitely not the best outfit on Cobalt, not the NC ones. We're trying to get better and better, but we are not the best one. We are basically a place for new players and veteran players to join. Um, we don't mind if they leave or not. We obviously more happy if they stay and stick to us and play with us. But we 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 kind of a place that they come to. They learn new things. Perhaps we teach the new players. They they stick with us. We we are happy then, and uh, we're trying to basically just teach the player base. I guess we are focusing uh, on teamwork rather than personal um, statistics, like personal skills. So we mostly trying to focus uh, getting better and better on our teamwork. We really don't care about uh, how good you are in 1v1 or something. Obviously, it's a matter of fact that we like if someone is a better player or not. And it's all uh, it's also really good if someone joins us because, I don't know, they saw the outfit somewhere and they think it's the outfit for them. And uh, we like if that player, as it was said before, has the will to improve. Uh, it's something that is really great uh, to work with. Uh, we grant uh, our own documents uh, for training, for callouts, and for what loadouts is. What loadouts are the best? Uh, here and there, rarely we do Jaeger. Back in the days, we used to do 1v1 uh, Jaegers and 2v3s and such as. Uh, perhaps it's going to come back as we are going to start preparing for the outfit wars because, oh, holy moly, we're not gonna miss that party. Uh, so yeah, we are just a friendly community, honestly. We are not only sticking together in game, we also help in real life. We we play many other games as it's also written on the beautiful document in front of us. Um, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for basically mm. coming in, Xflux. I want to learn more about you guys as well through another individual. It's called Nox Vaughn Nightmare. Tell me more about it. You want to add no, more to um... it? First of all, this is my first evening with you guys, with some of the most veteran players of the Planetside community. Um, I want to say a lot of thanks uh, to the organization of the CC. I want all to say also thank you for the live stream. Like, I like the quality of the stream. It is the second time I'm watching it. Um, so for me, this is an exciting evening, or this was an exciting evening so far, because the CC was hectic on the NC side at one day, or at one point, and at another point we managed to get things together, even in the chaos we had going on in between. Um, I wanted to say from my point uh, of uh, TPTV, like uh, I'm a veteran uh, FPS player since like, 20 plus years, uh, I turned 31 in some days, and for me it was like, um, I got asked by a friend to just come into Planetside one more time, and I was like, okay, no problem, let's go in, and I figured I'm still a member of TPDV, because Adrian, uh, the, like overall, the, the owner or creator, the original creator of uh, the devious community did not kick me because he knew me from the past from like six or seven years earlier playing planet set um so when i started out playing planet set again like three months or four months ago um i just started to talk with tpdv i started to talk with flux about his goals and about uh, his plan for the outfit and from my point of view it's uh, a nice place to stay uh, because in TPDV we have like a very mixed uh, player base. We have veterans which are playing for KD more than when they sh more like to shoot, but we have also a lot of veterans who lo like to share and help newer players. So for me, I feel like I'm in the perfect spot right now because I love to explain stuff and I love to talk a lot. So I try to assist the newer players. I also try to get ops going. Currently, I'm an official squad leader in TPDV. So uh, I try to get the people together and just uh, get used to it each other so we can apply our tactics to the newer players and if we mix up the squads between old and new players uh, it feels for me like they are easier to adapt for the news because they can watch the veterans what are they doing why are they doing it and so in between the operations we have like a, a good learning base as well and this is why I appreciate it a lot and shout out to Alec for the for the command today 
100%. That's about it. Sorry if I was talking a little no, bit too much. No, not at all. I'm not at really all. Excited. I, I, I could hear it in your voice. I could hear your excitement. I didn't want to cut you off. Uh, but at the same time, keep up the good work. And uh, with your level of effort that you're putting in, you're giving all these new players an experience that they uh, would never get anywhere else. And whatever you're doing is priceless, man. Keep up the good work. If people Thank don't you. like what you do, don't worry. There are people that actually enjoy it and keep up. Don't worry about how much you talk. Just be yourself. And have fun because you also deserve to have fun too, my dude. Thank you. Of this course. is very exciting for me. Like I enjoy every little bit of Planet Side, uh, and I was looking for for this evening for at least a month. Hell and yeah, dude. Told me, hey, there will be covert clash. I was like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dude. This is yeah, great. That's what it's all about. That's the exact reaction we want to see. We want to see people getting excited and yeah. people having a good time. Dude, I, it was uh, I, yes. it was actually pretty uh, stressful for me because of my internet activity died the day before. I was like. For the love of God, is there, is there an opportunity here? Do not screw me here. And so I, I got the executives on the phone for my ISP. They sent three people to fix my internet. I was like, oh, thank God, stress is gone. And so we're here today making this opportunity happen. So if it didn't happen, I got an internet connection error. Hopefully somebody out there recorded the fun gameplay from your perspective. Uh, and I want to see you guys make some epic YouTube videos. And if you choose to and you put DMCA music on it, sadly, I won't be able to hear the audio through it. But we can at least watch what you did, and I can just turn it off on the audio side and check out what you guys have created. So if you ever want to share some epic content from today's Kobo Clash and you want to edit it, I would love to show it on stream and watch it together with you. Um, all right, so Actually, let's go ahead and get the next. What's up? Which, which type of music or which YouTube channel can we use to put music under the video? You can use really slow motion music. It's called That's the Music That I Use to Basically Hype the Crap Out of You Guys. All of those songs are basically copyright free for me. Um, but for other channels, if they don't basically pay them directly like I did, you will not have that opportunity to play it on your stream. But if you want to use Epidemic Sound or you want to use Monster Cat, the Monster Cat, there's a check mark. So make sure you select the check mark for content safe and people on Twitch can use it. There's a DMCA issue going on for the last two years that have banned a ton of young streamers and old uh, and or got DMCA striked where they're literally at, they're paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to these re record labels. So. I don't really have the money to do that, guys. So I got to be safe on that one. So, or I'm just banned and just not going to make content anymore. Um, other than that, let's go to the next one. We got Trid from Trident. Are they here tonight? Kind of, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Kiker, <laughs> you sexy f Tell me more about Trid from your perspective. You're here to represent 525 active members in the last 30 days. Ice247. Tell me more about your leader. Uh, no, it's actually not only eyes. Um, Judge Dev is the real founder, but he actually, um, we have a council normally. And so he stepped down as the founder of um, Trident. Um, and now, meanwhile, since the beginning, the council is like, was Check Check, Ultimatox also to an ex founder. He stepped down, and like Sonalia stepped up um, with Karena. Now there are new two um, councillors. So we have at the moment six councillors running um, everything up and yeah what i can say like we are like today was a bit fun sadly we had actually not that much people on emmerish with us i need to say but um in the end it was a really great day i had actually um a challenge to do tonight so every death i needed to drink a shot no so, yeah i had actually a good drunken day today <laughs> i think i died over 60 times i mean it was a solid night. <laughs> How's your liver doing? I don't know. I don't want to know about it. <laughs> I hope you take sips of those shots. You didn't take a full shot. I think after like seven, it's GG. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah I, I mean, like, I had only in this over two hours I was online, I think, like, 70 kills only. I mean, like, I couldn't even play anymore. <laughs> yeah, after two is GG for Tariko. Man, after one for me right now, because I haven't drank at all, would be GG. You guys will hear me say things yeah. you probably don't want me to basically yeah, talk me about. Too. But yeah, I'm shot. You don't even sound drunk, bro. <laughs> I was oh, like, believe you, mate. I'm, I'm hanging in my chair. Dude, right? you're I, doing great, man. I, I just, I would be lisping. I'd be on the floor, probably like snoring. I don't know, man. Uh, Sixty mm. deaths you had, and now you're just still talking. It's crazy. Well, oh, yeah. why are you still in Trid? Why do they keep you? Uh, why are you ex uh, excited to be a part of their community? Um, and what actually, are what is your rank in it? Uh, I'm like, um, I actually rejoined the outfit because I have bugs on my account, so I need to rejoin every one of a time then. 
Um, it actually keeps me in because, like, even if you have like all the veterans, like, um, always in the Sunday squads or like on Fridays on our FNO. But the thing is, like, we are like more like a big family. We sit together there and we have like WhatsApp groups or like on Signal um, groups and like talk to each other private. I mean, like, that's like a big family. And don't forget to join, guys. There is a raffle going on. Ah, you got it. I was gonna <laughs> say, I'm trying to make it towards every yeah. other uh, every other square that comes up, so that way I can actually yeah. give a raffle right. out. I don't know how many codes I have left, so I don't want to screw it up. Exclamation mark! Join if you guys want another opportunity at the Quartermasters. Ninth anniversary bundle here today. Thanks to me, Thrill, your number one freaking community manager for Planet Side 2, as well as freaking Rel and the rest of the entire gang at Planet Side. Thank you guys so much, man. Rogue Planet Games, you guys are killing it. Keep up the good work. Um, all right, you were saying, uh, Geiger, um, your position. Yeah, the thing, yeah, the thing is why they, uh, I actually keep playing with them because like they're a huge family to me, like awesome. um, like my online family for me, like you. Ah. <laughs> so um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so they're a family. Like, they make you basically have a good time. You can come in and out. Yeah. You don't have to play basically active at, at the entire time. They won't kick you, right? Yeah. When you um, like lock, uh, you have an we have a forum up, and when you have an you have an account there, you actually can't get kicked out of the outfitting game. Very cool. You are actually immune to that. I love it, man. I'm gonna read this real quick for these guys. An absolute behemoth of an outfit. Tried, tried it. Has been around for almost a decade. Putting it right up there as the oldest with the oldest on the list. Scale is vital, part of Trident. Large enough to provide regular platoons and provide force commanders at various events. Nine years of activity has also given them a large advantage of veteran players like this man right here, the Geiger TV. Trident has minimal requirements for entry, requiring simply that members listen to voice chat, follow orders. Most training is done on the job, though in the, uh, in the case of the events, more advanced instructions can be provided. You heard that here, live on stream. That's what I'm talking about. And let's see who's got the W. It looks like, yeah, it's me, Crows, has taken that W. Congratulations to you. Here comes another key over to you. Let's get Urge next. Oh. Hold on, are you sure you want to give it to Crows? I mean, you could give it to someone else. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucked up. Is it? I just think maybe he doesn't deserve it. No, what do you mean? He got it fair and square. The exclamation mark joined and he made it happen. Crows is... Oh, if you say so. Congratulations to you, my dude. Regardless of whatever you've done in your life, I'm proud of you getting this W here tonight. Um, where is that gentleman? Uh, give me a second. Uh, I'm looking for it right now. Can you please do me a favor, Crows? Yes, it's me, Crows. Can you type in the chat? There we go, I found you. Whispers. Congrats. Let's go ahead and give him that code. I think I'm going to have to change the camera angle so that way I don't screw up and put, throw the codes on the screen. And let's put, yes, it's me, Crows. Crows, can you do me a favor? Can you try that co uh, that code? And if that code's expired, then I know I cannot use this list of codes anymore. Uh, if it's not expired, I'll continue. Because that means the entire list of codes that I have are expired. This was from uh, the codes that I got from previous events. Thank you so much, it's me, Crows, if you can confirm that for me. All right, let's go continue. We got Urge right here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. There we go. Let's go back to here. We got Urge. Urge the Confessed. Leader is Factbat. English speaking, active members, 38, age, three years, two days a week. Multi-gaming, no. Urge is well known as a solid infantry focused outfit, which focuses on tactical play. Off the battlefield, they are a friendly group, which focuses on companionship and camaraderie, even across faction. But in the fight, they rely on experienced leaders and players to help their squads punch well above the weight. Oh, their weight. Urge has guides available to new players as well as training those that request them or when they deem it necessary. In return, all they ask of recruits is some level of ability to breathe. And apparently... Even that is an option. <laughs> Are you talking oh, about that? Thank goodness. <laughs> Are you kidding me, bro? There's a brand new players. They're like screaming at them. They're like, breathe. I can't. I can't. Uh, and they say that they're it's great under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> they will urge me confessing the victory or defeat once the dust settles. That is amazing, dude. Urge, keep up the good work, buddy. Unbelievable. Fact that is their leadership, and you can clearly see their active members are at 38, and they're continuing either growing or they're losing their members because they have all died because they didn't breathe. I'm just kidding.
Um, and I think that's the last one for the entire list that I've got here. Uh, thank uh, you so much, Salamander, for creating that. Bobby, there were a couple of people who DM'd me while you were doing that um, from TXLC who asked if they could come in here and... Yeah, 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 of course. I'm going to go I'm gonna go in-game now. TXLC, if you want to tell your members to go in-game, I'm going to basically zoom into your character. Uh, go into the Sanctuary 1, I'll see you there, and then I'll showcase you as you're talking. Uh, let me DM the guy. Um, I think he's right here. TX, uh, TXLC, Mator, and Rat, Rat's head hand. Oh, do we have TXLCs? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> we got TXL here. Uh, if you want to log in the game, go to Sanctuary 1. I'll see you guys there and zoom into you guys because we did not have that same format. So we're going to go to Showcase it as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, we we missed out PXGP because Astral was sad that we lost and didn't want to come in the chat. Um, we don't have to go back to the t uh, card, but I'm just going to give him a shout out because I've known those guys for so long. Back in the outfit I was in before this outfit, the outfit before that, um, they are the premier angry med ball of Cobalt. Uh, they never die. They have so many res grenades. It's absolutely insane. Um, they're open to all kinds of new members, although they do have that kind of retirement home reputation that RSG1 has. And if you're a medic and you want to learn how to medic in Planetside 2, they're a great group to join as long as you want to go for the more uh, serious side of the gameplay and have a very angry engineer lead you incredibly competently who's been doing this for a long time. So just quick shout out for PSGP as well. Medics. That's what I'm talking about. They're known for their medics? medics. They are absolutely known for their medics. They are they are TR's health insurance program. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Make Let's sure you guys say, sign up as soon as possible so that way you got plenty of nanites. RSG and PXGP probably made this clash as our loudest platoon. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome, man. Keep up the good work, Austral Dynasty, man. You guys are well known. Even with these small numbers, you guys are actively putting in the pressure and you guys are showcasing yourselves here tonight. Even if you guys I'm lost Cobalt Clash, it doesn't matter, guys. In the end, you guys brought it. You made plan aside basically what it is today. Thank you. Congrats. Let's go ahead and basically switch back I remember back to that stream. because he DM'd me on Discord that he'd run out of Pepsi. Ah! He's like, <laughs> I need my Pepsi! All right, let's go in the game. Uh, we're going to go back into Cobalt. We're logging into Cobalt. We're going to go into the Sanctuary. We're going to see if I can find TXLC in Sanctuary 1. We're right here in the middle by the NC defector. But the NSO defector, I should say. Nice. And it was good having TXLC with us because I think they may be the youngest outfit of the Clash. So we gave them the honor of pulling the opening TR Bastion. And not only did it survive a whole, the whole way through, but my goodness, did that provide some vital support to certain bases on the Ikanam line. Awesome. I can see you guys right now. Let's get a chance to basically go show you guys in game content here. And now mm, we're going to chance to see you. I wish you a uh, wholesome evening, guys, but I will leave you now alone. Nox, have a good one, buddy. Thank you so much have for nice listening. Appreciate it. I'll say hey, something for Geiger. Thank you so much. Of course. I'm going to leave you as well. Goodbye. Hey, Geiger, thank you so much for the tier 2 stuff to Magenta. Well. <clears throat> I know that you guys are going to miss me. Hold back, guys. Love no. to you all. Oh, of course, of kiss, course. Kiss, kiss. kiss, man. Bye bye. Take care, man. Right now, we've got TXLC here, guys. Mator. As well as TXLC yeah. Ratatan. Let me know more about you guys. Alright. Uh, I don't know. I think Ratatan should start because he's the actual leader. We don't really have a structure here. But uh, yeah, basically, um, there's just as Matter said, so we are the bit of a remnant of maybe you know the TXRF, uh, the Terran Strike Forces. And yeah, basically, we came together as a platoon after our old leader basically um, stopped playing. And now we're here. We are. Mostly existing. Oh, yeah. Is, let me know. Let me know how many players are actively playing. Give me more of an idea. Like, what would I be able to do to join you guys as a fresh new player? Do you guys want veteran only? What's your main language to speak? Is it English? Do you guys speak other languages too? Yeah. Um, basically, you don't need any requirements to join us. We just run around the map and playing. And if you play with us, jump into one of our harassers or one of our Sandras or play along with Tank. Uh, you can just get invited to the squad, and if uh, you stay with us, uh, then you get invited to the outfit. Um, our main language we speak is um, English, but we have also a lot of people from other countries, mostly Germany, as you can maybe notice. And um, yeah, most of the time um, on our operations, we um, basically anyone can run an operation if he wants to. Um, we have a schedule where they can 
put it in and then basically we just can play and yeah or we have no real requirements that's the, uh, that's the main good thing and we just are very we're just a bunch of players running around uh, having fun mostly shooting at the enemy uh, some, sometimes even ourselves and um, yeah for my part um, I was it was very fun to play with you all and the, the air support we got from you and the um, colossal support that was just awesome to see and um, yeah I hope you can do it again and I just basically um, we are honored that we, can, we are here and as um, it was previously said we are one of the youngest outfits I think uh, I actually don't really know when we were founded um, but yeah, thank you for having us here. Oh, of course, man. I'm excited to see you guys grow and basically continue pushing, pushing yourselves. Are you guys interested in doing Alpha Wars? Uh, yeah. Outfit Wars, yeah. I guess sure. we can try it, depending on how many people get. Like, yeah. today we... They didn't really know how... Who will join, even, because that's the, our organization part here. We just, most of the time, wing it and uh, hope it works. Uh, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes, sometimes it does. Sometimes hey man, winging it is fun though, it's, it's less stressful for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah we exactly. just basically, we put real life in front of a game, so... And if you don't, if you have a hard time in, in real life, then no problem. You can always leave, you can always uh, stay inactive for a while. And you can always come back, we're here, we're fighting, and... We try to fight, basically. Oh <laughs> yeah, dude, that's what We I'm just wing it along the way. Most of the time it's like, uh, at least for our organization, we do many drops and uh, overall point hold squads sometimes, oh. depending on, it also depends on uh, who wants to make a squad, who has an idea, because we also are open for creative ideas. And yeah, uh, yeah exactly. If someone feels comfortable in like doing a drop squad, we can do a drop squad, uh, just say so. Uh, yeah, basically we have many what I think that are very unconventional on this uh, on this roundup here. We have like hide and seek squads. We have um, most of my squads are spent in the back line between the VFs and NC, um, trying to shoot people there. And man, sometimes even we go on um, little adventure tours where we just uh, follow the map or try to protect one particular tank or uh, one particular harasser and just. Do stuff whatever comes to mind. That, that and we are <laughs> this one. If that one guy that stays cloaked with stalker cloaker uh, cloaking with a knife just to knife this one person was an outfit, that's us. <laughs> yeah, basically the guys <laughs> who are basically the guys who commit an entire platoon to kill one colossus or to kill one guy uh, because uh, he shot on one of our galaxies. <laughs> that's us. Yes. I love yes, it, man. you annoy us, you get the rock and uh, yeah. three nukes at, th at the same time. And stuff like that. And, and, that, and that's what makes Planicide so much fun, that you can get revenge <laughs> in a very unique way in every way possible. If there's somebody taking you out, you can call your friends and actually get that sweet, bitter revenge and instantly. And so if you don't have uh, that coordination, you can solo it and you can basically make that opportunity happen, take that screenshot and, and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. One of the things... Was, go ahead. Yeah, and also... Um, we like it when we sometimes, uh, for example, when we are on the backline and uh, attacking aircraft or something, we most of the time um, <laughs> we just uh, get uh, nuked on, on many places, but, um, getting overfills thrown after us, but one of the time we had an uh, enemy bastion chasing us because we were running anti-air sunderers in the backline and just uh, parked in front of a warp gate. So if it's uh, if the next time the FOS or NC are seeing us in front of a warp gate, we can wipe to you. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I'm excited, buddy. So thank you so much for coming out, man. I appreciate it. You guys basically all have made this event possible. We're going to do another raffle for everybody, so that way we can make sure we give away these raffles out here and make sure you guys actually have collected it. Let's go and do one quick uh, switch over. Uh, TX, LC, uh, tell me what was your favorite moment of tonight's matchup? Oh, that was definitely the moment when, at least for me, um, when we were in the bastion now exclamation mark join guys everybody who's done it earlier i did not start it yet now it started you'll see my hand go up here that means it starts with sir walk if you did not type it earlier you might have to type it in again i'm looking at valkyrie skies as a type it again pile as well as cedric spenzaria you got to make sure you guys all type Debate. it up again 
Yeah, I, well, I didn't see. I didn't push it yet. I just saw you guys type exclamation mark joy. What the? F I was like, wait. Oh, uh, okay. You 40. said you started. No, no, I'm going to start. I was trying to do a transition of a screen, and mistakes were made. Exclamation mark join, and let's go Ashley, ahead here. The side down. I know. <laughs> mistakes were made. I, a TXLC was going to tell me their favorite moment. Tell me. Yeah, basically, um, the time when I think we got attacked by um, two and see Colossi and we were had like um, scouts running around to, to spot them and as soon as we, st um, we spotted them we, best we told all our um, mossies to basically d descend upon them and try to nuke them and we had many players that uh, got two or three Colossi kills in the uh, in this in this combat clash and one of our, and that was definitely one of our favorite moments. That what we basically survived the entire, uh, the entire running time of our bastion, and after that, um, yeah, we were basically just another part of the drop force, and try to help out wherever we can. I but love the it. the first bastion pull and the amount of support we received by the other arrow pits or even the four colossi in the ground, of um, yeah, that was just. An awesome thing to see, we were especially coming over to our view to the uh, Econ Biolab and just saw the four Colossi shooting up at the forest Bastion and it looked pretty awesome. No, and you then guys. got shot down by the, by the Sky Guards that are still remaining. And How many squads did you run today? And then uh, that'll be my final question to you. Uh, we had two squads running, uh, oh, sure. one uh, full squad and one squad where basically only one spot was left open. And that was pretty good attendance. Uh, and is this your first Sometimes time showing up to... This is my... Sorry, I think it's the last question, but I want to figure out. Did you actually come to the previous Global Clash? This is your first one. I don't think they existed back then. Yeah, I was going to say, this uh, is their first time, right? Uh, most probably. I don't know. The first time for me, for example. Uh, that's for sure. I think maybe with our older outfit, we had... But I don't know. No, we had one part. We had one, one outfit, one Cobalt Clash where we joined, but we were even smaller. We were like only like... Half a platoon, and we spent half of our time in the trees on Hossin. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think Just killing that takes was all day. Cobalt Clash experience. And the after, <laughs> I think the second one was uh, was on on Emerald again, and we were spending um, our time with a big four group of uh, TR guys on the, the ascent, getting orbited and uh, wondering why uh, they even orbital us because it was against the rules or something but then we remembered that we had our own orbital and then we orbited them back <laughs> yeah we sometimes have uh, moments where if you see this one red guy that gets orbital by a red orbital it probably <laughs> is me and max is angry on me yeah and i think we have one of the highest um team kill counts on the on the, i don't oh, know if yeah. you really have it or not God. you guys are also <laughs> one of those individuals that's yeah, awesome. we have essentially this like uh, we shoot at things that move. At least I do. I have this. Yeah, like, me too. Me too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mostly enemies. I always try to shoot enemies. Oh. This, like you don't shoot. always try to shoot enemies. Last time you 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 nuked me out of my Valkyrie and then just oh I cannot damage you. Yes. I remember that. I was, after this event, Ratatan was talking some strange <laughs> things. Oh yeah, I didn't get the nuke. I didn't get the, to use the nuke, and so I was angry on Ratatan and I was trying to shoot him down. But because of the damage to Allies' nerf, I was just wondering why don't I do damage to you? <laughs> yeah, I basically all the time I thought I was getting chased by an enemy ESF and just fought with my Valkyrie around, and then <laughs> could I get killed? I was just, just so matter of fact, but it was, oh, it was better. <laughs> oh my God! So yeah, like, if you guys don't know, you, team killing is a thing in this game. You can kill your own team, but um, if you're in the same company. Traditionally, seeing killing yourselves in the same company is not frowned upon. You guys have your own camaraderie. It's a tradition. It's a tradition. Uh, tradition. I literally yeah. have gone C forward by everybody on my own team after we've taken the base. It's a C for me. Like I'm like, what? What the hell is this? Like oh, we redeploy as faster, Archie. I'm like, really? I just died though. I was like, Shh. I'm like, okay. And so, um, yep. whatever the case. We is. have a special pecking order after the alerts, basically <laughs> who can kill whom and uh, who can. You just chase that one person, and they're like, nah. <laughs> yes, yes, that's basically all yeah. that. And it's if you get cool. revived, then they just get killed again. And we see how long we can take keep it up. Yeah, that's awesome. And then man. they're always traitors that like revive others, which is nah. yeah. <laughs> they go with the Gurgit's pecking order. That's really cool. Well, hey, man, thanks for sharing, man. I just want to hear more about perspectives. And we got a chance to see smaller outfits. We got a chance to see larger outfits. We got a chance to see mid, strong, air, ground, and infantry, every type of outfit here. And if you weren't basically mentioned, feel free to go ahead and spam the chat right now. 
and let me know what your company was. Maybe somebody in this voice chat can represent you, or if you'd like to basically say that out loud for you guys. Let's go ahead and basically focus on um, Ellen. Uh, I don't know if I can say the last name. Real uh, or Ryo. Uh, let's go and get Ellen Ryo to win this right here. We're going to go and send him a code right now. Give me one second. And might I just say, Artie, thank you for joining us on what has turned out to be a five-hour marathon of a oh, stream for our little event. God. <laughs> that is true. That is a very long stream for me on just sitting here and just talking. We did more talking than actually gaming. <laughs> it's like, but you know what? It's much appreciated. Yeah. yeah. Look, it's much appreciated that you gave all these different little facets of our dying games communities no, the time to kind of uh, make themselves known and to spread their name out because, as you said, Ultimately, our big goal here is to let lots of people have fun, to have more people join in, get more people involved with the community, and just, you know, enjoy the enjoy what everything the game has to offer with one another. 100%. Yeah. In, my, in my opinion, um, I, don't, I don't see this game as a dying game. I mean, they, they brought out the tutorial. They're focusing no, on mean, 1v1s. Yeah, yeah. They have, like... It's it's still making it opportunities. Their opportunities are available for for a lot of new players to figure out this game. And MMOs are There's really tough to get into. MMOs are just oh, too yes. damn tough to get into. But the dying game thing is almost half a meme. Yeah, honestly. I know it's, a half it's just meme, we yeah. keep saying it. Yeah, uh, even <laughs> even I even I basically me I'm not streaming new uh, Planicide because again it's like it's tough because what do you do as a streamer? in Planicide is that either you get stream sniped, like you saw it last night, Summit 1 was playing Planicide 2, I guarantee you he's getting stream sniped by like 500 people. And um, and it's just it's just a, a part of the game for streamers, is that they can't sit there and enjoy the game, there's always going to be somebody ruining it for them, like for, like forcing them off the game, or they think they're having fun, but you're really just getting double teamed by like 100 people, and you just can't solo have fun as a streamer if you're really big. But being I feel like the only real way to kind of uh, solve that when you're playing plant side is to stream with something like a five minute delay. But that does take away the kind of fun element of the chat interaction. There's so no, it can be awkward. There's no regard. reason to do it on Twitch anymore. <laughs> that's the reason why it was so tough to do it. Like, for instance, there was a delay for one minute we did for Outfit Wars. Um, it, it takes no away the ability to. Openness. Yeah, as soon as the, if they have the ability to make it to where the delay's there on Twitch and then we can take the delay off and use that one gap, like not to end the stream and restart the stream, it all comes down to the person. If they're a partner streamer, they can do a one minute delay as much as they want because they're partnered, they're done. They don't need their viewership anymore. They don't care about any of that. They can just do however they like and be a competitive team. But if you're a starting out streamer who's not partnered, dude, you just killed your, your growth if you basically do a one minute or five minute delay. And uh, that's, that's the sad truth of it. Um, <laughs> But other than that, that's when you just make a YouTube video at that point. Just record it and just post it on YouTube so you can enjoy it on YouTube instead. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I feel like Commander Sirius just came in right now. You guys hear this? One last thing. <laughs> Did you guys hear this? I literally felt like Commander Sirius just entered the channel. I'm like, what? Oh, that's actually uh, is the Planet Side 2 music. Um, but uh, let's go back to the game and watch what these guys are doing. I'm just pretty shocked right now. They're just basically doing some crouch stuff. <laughs> Salamander, you started this? Oh, we the? just started this, but I've got cat like I use cat like on every single class, which makes me crouch, crouch and move faster, which means I overtake. Oh my doing god, this. you're actually really fast! I didn't even notice that. It's hilarious. You're like running through the competition here, snowblowers cat in the like front. Cat like is by far the best implant, and I will die on this hill. Dude, you know, that is that that's Justin really Bieber fast. on stream. Thanks for joining us, man. It means a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want to say one quick thing, and yeah. it's not a uh, particular part of the stream, but it's yeah. a part for a guy that's watching the stream. Yeah. Jenkins, I will get you. You know who you, uh, you, know who you are. <laughs> I will get you. It, it isn't over. <laughs> Jenkins, you just heard it you right now. Jenkins, gonna... You just heard it right Jenkins there, buddy. Jenkins, to you play are screwed, again. my dude. <laughs> Jenkins, maybe Jenkins you gotta come back and play, buddy. Have some fun. You know what he's talked to. So... Okay. On eight Jenkins, or...? Another Jenkins. A Jenkins Row, player from the outset. Ah, okay. Can we and you know what? Can we if confirm, I may get a little so... sentimental, I, yeah. I think I can speak for all of Cobalt when I said let us dedicate this uh, Cobalt Clash to our uh, deceased, passed away friend, Brunito. He was an icon among Cobalt, and it was very sad to see him go. So, uh, yeah, let his memory live on in the good times we shared and the good times we've yet to share. Hell yeah. I have, I have no fear. Bonito was yeah. here. Alright, so basically I'm just doing some DMs right now. And um, at the same time, let's go back to the main square of things. How much time did this take 
uh, Valkyrie Skies and Salamander to create this organization. I bet a lot of people have questions. When can Cobalt Clash exist again? Uh, honestly, it was pretty painless. We set ourselves a month to prepare the event once we decide, yeah, okay, let's do this. So, like, we've been working on this for about a month. I don't know about the NC and VS side, because as I said, we kind of, we split up the uh, work. But getting the TR stuff together for me was fairly painless, because I, I kind of went out of my way to be in every other TR outfit's Discord to kind of aid, like, RSG has been kind of insular. So I made it my goal to kind of go out of the way to better connect ourselves with everyone. So I'm in basically every TR outfit's Discord as is. So it was pretty handy for me to get hold of everyone. And it was fairly painless. And as I said, in the end, TR was so cooperative, we ended up <laughs> overbooked on our side. But uh, beyond that, it was mostly just um, uh, getting in touch with the devs, which was where Sal had on speed dial. Because as I said, he's done this before. He's yeah. the one with the experience. And then, of course, contacting yourself. And we also put a shout out into the Jaeger server, asking if anyone else was looking to do any kind of streams, which is how we got Atty Pick and his French language stream. So again, many thanks to him for that. 100%. And if, and there's, other, if there's other creators I already know streaming this event, um, was that Planetside Battles that did it? Uh, no, Atty Pick did it on his own channel. Awesome. Let me go and basically give him a shout out. Is it uh, Atty Pick? Let's go and see if I can get him. Uh, I think it's A-T-Y-P-I-C-K. A T Y. Does he have an underscore? Let me double check for you. Cobalt Discord updates. You can send me the link and I'll share it to everybody. Uh, A T Y P I C K. That's the switch. Right, let me pull it up. I want to give him a follow and give some love over to anybody who is actually streaming Planet Side. A T P. I might have to go on actually the Planet Side genre and find him. Is he still streaming or is he done? Uh, I'm not sure I, uh, Face the same I'm not way. French, Facing. as is probably quite apparent, so, uh, back, just you not. sadly, I think most of it would have been lost on me. Uh, it looks like someone one is actually live right now, and he's, uh, and he's gonna play some more Planicide, hell yeah. That's what, what I'm talking man. about. If I remember correctly, I believe Atty Pick is with Vode, who are a French outfit on NC, and, uh, They've always been uh, staunch rivals of us in RSG, or at least Victor believes them to be anyway, but they always put up a fantastic fight. Very skilled set of players. That's awesome. Well, I then oh, basically shit. you just heard it right now. <laughs> oh my god, Justin Bieber, I can hear you in my ear. What's up, my dude? Where is he? I don't know why. I... <laughs> what is happening? I can actually hear him in-game. Let me go and basically turn this off real quick. And nah, then the proxy, proxy voice chat is amazing, <laughs> but at the same time, super Bieber. scary. At the same time, he's about to sing Justin Bieber. Oh my god, this is too funny. <laughs> yeah, so other than that, guys, this has been a lot of fun. And uh, I want to thank you once again, the organizers. I want to personally thank over to the Salamander, NR12, uh, Spenzaria, Elect, Valkyrie Skies, the Geiger, Rotatan, FLO44, and Cedra TT for coming into the voice chat and adding value to the stream and adding value to Cobalt Smash and adding value to Planet Side 2. You guys are freaking amazing. And the rest of you guys in chat, I freaking love you all. And it means a lot to see you guys maintaining good vibes and just making me be able to stream this and making sure that you guys are having fun with me. And if I basically don't see you again, I hope to see you guys in the future.